And we continue on Shop NBC with a couple hours of sterling original timepieces. One of our favorite brands around here. If you love classic looks, a lot of mechanical automatic timepieces are going to be featured. This is your show. Although, conversely, we have some sportier looks, bigger looks as well. Let's take a look at a few of the watches you are going to see coming up in this hour. I have this particular watch in my personal collection, the gold layered version. In fact, it's on my wrist right now. Love the Symphony Operetta Regulator, $161.50. That's for the silver tone version. There will also be a gold layered version coming up later in the show. Then, speaking of the other looks, more contemporary, beautiful Gen Export Multifunction is going to be available today. $164.50. Then we've got five value payments there. $32.90. Several five value pay options in the show here. The 91463. Then, I, this must be my director's pick. He was almost forcing us to show this one earlier. This is the one, the Time Traveler Classic at $91.23. Silver Tone, he was just pointing out, is in particular of that lot there his favorite. First payment, $18.25. Another reason why that's probably his favorite. Five value pays of $18.50. So, two hours of Sterling Original Time Pieces on this Monday night, as advertised. Larry Megan is back with us for another couple hours of great watches. Even if you saw last night's show, Larry, we've got some pieces we didn't uh, feature. Well, like this brand new, yeah. viola. this is the Viola uh, from our Bardolatry series in the class collection. And Sean, here we go again, my friend. Yes, good to see you, Larry. It's always a pleasure you. to work with you. You know you're uh, one your of the favorite. old... Your favorite. Well, you're my favorite, oh, okay. but you're you know one of the old school types like me. We go yes. way back to the '90s doing this kind of thing. Yes, maybe we not together. We do, maybe not but together. No, we, we've both been but, in this uh, industry a very long time. That's what I love time. about working with you. Well, and honestly, and, and you know, to, to Larry's point, we have been doing this a long time, and now Larry's been associated with Sterling Original Time Pieces. How many years? Six years. Six years. It just hit me. My gosh, we're yeah. going back six years now with this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and, and we've had Sterling around even longer than that, but Larry's association goes back. It feels six. like just yesterday I met you in some ways. That's odd. Anyway. I'll never forget the first time we worked together, Sean. And I accidentally, I had done like, like 10 shows in a row with Jim, and I, my first time with you, I came out here and I called you Jim, and you said, okay, Lior. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you, you are... I was funny back and, then. And that's I when did. I realized, you know, okay, this guy is a witty guy. I just be careful it. now, because he can give it out. Oh, that's good. Anyway, I, I, I'm sure our producer would love it if we talked about the watch here on their screen, so I suppose we should probably do that. Blue or red choice on this skeletonized automatic on a leather strap. Your price is $139. First payment, $70. I'm impressing myself with that line. First payment, $70 to get this one home. And this is a good introduction to Sterling Original for, on a lot of different levels here. First of all, you're getting in on the 20 joule mechanical automatic that Sterling is so uh, famous for using uh, automatics on so many of their watches, but also you have a beautiful decoration on this one. But honestly, a, a, a dial or what exists of the dial, I'm, I'm watching my words because it's not really a dial per se, but there is an outer track where your numerals are Arabically placed on the, I'll use the word, dial, which is uh, a nice little touch to this one. Did you say Arabically? Probably. <laughs> anyway, no, <laughs> this is our brand new viola. Now, many of you out there may recognize the, the design on this timepiece with the 12-sided bezel and the, those kind of medieval What's the style. Word? Dodecagonal. Thank you. What is this, a test now? Yes, it is. Okay, no, it's a dodecagonal bezel. Uh, it, just like our Cesario. Mm -hmm. Now, this has the same design as the Cesario. We've used new color executions, but the Cesario was a 44, and is a 44 millimeter uh, timepiece. This is now a 48. So we've gone larger. This is like the big sister, the Viola, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of gentlemen are going to these larger size dress pieces at oh, yeah. 48, but we gave it some new co uh, sporty color executions. And this blue PVD case, I can't think of another model right off the top with this blue PVD. Now, yes, our Torbion, yes, we, we've done some, but we use the metallic blue. This is that brush satin finish blue that is just so hot. And again, what Sterling Original is known for, Sean, yes, one, one of the things we've become known for is our skeletonized mechanical automatic timepieces with more than 80 different models in the collection. And, you know, ladies can wear this as well. But uh, I just, and look, even the push button dual deploying clasp is done with that uh, electric blue uh, plating uh, on there. And you can even see wow. the case back as well. 
You know, and, and Larry brings up an excellent point, because that's an area that if, if your case is plated many times, your clasp yeah. is not. But here it is. Now, there are some differences between the blue and the red. Don't assume everything on here that is in blue is going to be in red on the other model, because that's not the case. On the red version, you're getting a red strap, red numerals on the dial, but the case is Look done in black and that dual deployment clasp is done in black. That's a real good looking, that's my high school colors. I'm I mean, a little look how that hot one. that is. We're gonna have to get this on Margaret. Now the red, of course, has the, you know, the black PVD case. It feels like Italian leather it on this. Does. It doesn't have the, you know, the alligator embossed, just the, you know, right. smooth leather with the black contrast stitching. There's a time and a place for that. There's a time and a place for the alligator. I think in this particular case, this yeah. is the best way to do it. It's all on that, uh, that solid color, if you will, strap. My producer, Al, said to me before the show, he said, Sean, I want to see these watches on our models. So even the watches that we call gentlemen's pieces, oh, but we have how... Margaret modeling today. And you know what? I say good call, Al. We should indeed show these on Margaret because that's good looking. You know what this reminds me of? You know, we just had the Hong Kong Watch and Clock Fair two weeks ago oh, I in know Hong Kong. In Sterling really? Original, we exhibit at the brand gallery there, and they have this parade, and they have these, just like Margaret, these really tall, thin, you know, Asian girls, and they, you give them the yeah. watches, and they'll just, they, the parade of watches on these beautiful Asian girls walking, and they're wearing these big men's watches. Uh, we have pictures with the Sterling Original. You know, Margaret would fit right in over there. You, speaking of pictures, I just saw one of you and George. Yeah, but I look so fat in that picture. <laughs> you know, I hate that picture. I'm going to okay. lose the weight. I really, no, I'm really going to lose it. But listen, <laughs> this is a perfect example of mm. Sterling Original right here, the new Sterling Original, uh, where we're going a little bit bigger, a little I bit like edgier. It. Well, it's everybody gorgeous. likes that. The, the emails I get all the time are from, you know, I like the line, wear the larger watches, and not just Sterling, other lines, too. People are looking for larger watches. It's a good way to go. Red or blue are your two color choices. 20 dual automatic, 48 millimeter case diameter. I think Larry mentioned that. Leather strap. Your price, $139. That is brand new this week, so make note of that item number. As we get set to go, we have many more items to share with you, and in fact, Here's one that we presented and have had just huge response on. It's the Monterey Bay, once again, uh, priced at $67.26. I don't mm -hmm. know what there is to think about except which one are you going to get. We have three executions that are available here, and I'm going to walk you through the three that we have remaining because the variable on the watch is kind of subtle. It's the accents that you're going to see on the dial. Actually, one has a little bit different. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. But basically, here are the first two choices that I'm going to show you. The one on the left side of your screen, if you like that, you're ordering black and blue because it has the black dial right. with the blue accents. It will have, I will just add, a black rubber strap. You'll see why I mentioned that in a moment. The next one over is the black and red. That is, or I beg your pardon, see, this is why I wanted, no, stick with my first thought. I was right, black and red because of the black dial, but the red accents are the subtle touches at the 65, 10, and 15, and where it says Swiss quartz. So if you want this one, it's really more white, but it's black and red. That is also on a black rubber strap. Here's where things change even a little bit further. The green. And this is, we were talking about this yesterday. This is maybe the, the hidden treasure in the, the whole assortment, black and green black dial, green accents, but it's on a green rubber strap. Yeah, that's what, I mean, I really dig the green. And, yeah. you know, earlier uh, we were talking about this uh, just a little bit because we had the original Monterey on a once only a little bit earlier for about $10 less than this, which was spectacular. But this is the newer version, the Monterey Bay, for only $10 more. This is the 46 millimeter, two millimeters larger. We've got new color executions, as you can see right here. We didn't have a green in the original Monterey. And this has the green rubber strap because green is a really hot color in the watch industry this year. And by the way, you see how the minute hand is, is green? And yes, it's, just, it's just about three minutes past the, uh, the hour hand pointing at the one. Just imagine if that minute hand was about three minutes back and it would be completely obscuring the hour hand. Yes. Just picture that in your mind. Okay. okay. You got it? I'm picturing okay. it. Okay. I just want you to have that mental picture because a little later in the show, there's a reason why I'm asking you to picture that. Just remember that, okay? Okay. All right. Got it. Now. Getting back to the Monterey, this is from our Concorso series. Mm -hmm. It's from our Sportsman's Collection, one of the most popular series that we have in our Sportsman's Collection. We have like 11 or 12 different models in the series now. And this is an auto race-inspired 
uh, design uh, with that tire tread, that serpentine tire tread uh, like pattern going down the rubber strap. And then of course you have that serpentine S pattern also picked up in the texturization on the dial. Mm -hmm. And there it is right that there on pattern. that dial. But that Arabic 12 and the Arabic numeral 6 at the top and bottom with those bullet markers going all the way around the dial, uh, that is, those are all individually applied to the dial. And this is actually inspired by a very high-end Swiss brand uh, that is a very popular look in the watch industry for many years. And we see a lot of companies doing a look similar to this. And this mm -hmm. is our spin. The rubber strap is so comfortable on yeah. this one. It's absolutely the perfect way to put this watch together with that dial and that pattern and that detail and then on the outside the rubber strap carries through. Incidentally on the black and blue color combination we're down to the final dozen available so that will be the first one to go. Green is very trendy right now but there's something about this green I wouldn't necessarily say is is trendy. It's got just a great kind of an outdoorsman sort of look. If you want a good outdoors watch, out camping, out fishing, out just enjoying the fall season guys then that would be the one to get and here's Margaret wearing one of the choices. So they're all good all on four value payments sixteen dollars eighty one cents so you're gonna save some money there with the price cut the surprise price which is a temporary markdown and spreading out the payments over four months v nine one six five six no, we got a lot of good things in the show, and as I mentioned, even if you saw last night's show, we have some different items. This is one we didn't show you last night. The Eternal Sunrise 2 has a big date display at 12 o'clock, second display down at 6, and a clearance price of $119.41. Wow. That is so, gorgeous. Customer choice item as well on that one. Larry and I were both big fans of this one last night, and here it is again, the Woman's Derby Classic Slim Watch, $68.75, a beautiful... I think Larry brought up the point. It's almost a piece of jewelry first and foremost. I guess mm -hmm. that's a good way to look at it. Sixty-eight seventy-five is your price, ladies. That one's just for you. V nine one five six five. Now, in this hour, and I forgot to look, are they separated? They are separated. We are going to give you a look at two different versions of this watch. We're going to start with the all stainless version of the Symphony Operetta. It is the only regulator we have to share with you. Again, except for the gold layered piece. It could be, and I meant to do this today and I forgot to, I believe this is the only regulator in our entire watch inventory at Shop NBC. So this is kind of special to be able to get a watch that tells you the time, but it does it differently. It's still legible and you can still read it, but it takes just a, an explanation or two, and I'll let Larry do that in just a second. First though, we have this one choice available here in the silver tone. If you want the gold layer, that is coming up later. Your price is $161.50. It is the lowest price this watch has ever been seen at. This has sold for more. When we change item numbers, we can't necessarily reflect a former price point, and this is one of those times when it was Definitely. sold for more under a different item number, so we don't have that up there on the screen. I know, I'm, I own this watch, I'm speaking from experience, yeah. it sold for more. Point being, $161.50 is your Shop NBC price. It's going to come to you on a black strap it appears to, uh, oh i'm sorry you know what the variable is i know what the, the, thank you my producer was saying what uh, because why are we ordering blue the hands are the variable which is how this is set up if you look at this it's on a black strap but you're going to see blue Hand. So that's, right. uh, that's a lot of information there, but not necessarily the most important information. Larry, I'll let you take over here. Well, this is a regulator, and just a moment ago, I asked you to envision when it would be five after one, how the minute hand would obscure the hour hand. Yes. Well, here, that's, it's 109 well, right I'll here. I'll make because it 501, and let's right. see what happens. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's now, here it is where it's five after one, but you'll notice that the hour hand is pointing to a little past one, and the minute hand is at five minutes, so this would read as 105. And the reason they do this is so that the minute hand does not obscure the hour hand. And they refer to this as a doctor's watch because, in theory, a doctor could be in a life and death situation. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he should never have where the hour hand, the minute hand is obscuring the hour hand right. because if he misreads the time, it could be life and death. So they refer to it in the industry as a doctor's watch. It's referred to as a regulator where you have the hour hand and the minute hand on different axes. Now, this is vintage and classic Sterling original going back about six years now. 
Uh, it's our case model number 97. It's been a, a staple in our line. It's in our symphony series in our boardroom collection. It's got the beautiful, elegant coin edge bezel. And the dial work is really classic Sterling original dial work here. This uh, dial has been struck more than 30 times by hydraulic vintage German machines that are run by true artisans. You see that rolling wave texturization. When you come in really tight, you'll actually see within those waves uh, like a little striping pattern. Uh, it, within the hour subdial at 12 o'clock, you can see what we call the guilloche soleil, which is a sunray pattern. And then if you go to the outer uh, texturization, over by the minute track, all the way out at the perimeter of the dial, you'll see even a different pattern of texturization taking place out there. So this is classic Sterling original oh, dial nice. work here. You have your small seconds subdial at 6 o'clock. You have your date, of course, down there at the 6 o'clock position mm -hmm. as well. But this is just a classic, classic uh, dress timepiece. Uh, this is a suit. When we first brought this to Shop NBC, I remember showing this almost six years ago, and I it was three, it was three ninety nine. Now, yes. don't forget, this is a mechanical automatic, uh, a regulator on a mechanical automatic with small seconds, and small seconds is actually considered an extra complication. Mm -hmm. When you have three hands with hours, minutes, and seconds, that is known as simple time. But when you take the second hand off of the center axis, that's an extra complication because it's an extra gear. Now, Sean, this is a beautiful oh, look, I, and you, as you say, you own this timepiece. Yeah, it's my favorite Sterling, hands down. It's, it's one that I do wear a lot. Now, some of you might save it for special occasions. Some of you are saving it for the meetings in the boardroom. Some of you are wearing this every day, I hope, whether uh, it is every day or on occasion, it becomes such a special piece, and it is going to, I know that. I only have three dozen remaining. This is in the silver tone. Now, this we have not seen, and I believe it was October, of 2008, the last time we showed this. So it wow. has been nearly two, two years, years, Larry, since wow. we have seen this one. I've had people email saying, is it ever coming back? And honestly, I was saying no. I did not know that this was in the works. And where, uh, how it came to be, I don't know. I, that's not, I'm not in the buying department, but I'm thrilled that it is here. Now, imagine as we take a look at this on Margaret, a woman in the business world, Just Sean, as good. Uh, a judge, an attorney, a real estate saleswoman, uh, a businesswoman, a sales lady, uh, a, a, a shop NBC model, whatever. Yeah. A, a really uh, powerful businesswoman walking in wearing a doctor's watch, wearing a regulator, a classy regulator like this. This is for a real power, uh, power woman. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Gosh, I, I, I what a statement it makes. Talk about that one all night long. Well, here it is. A few dozen available. 161.50 is your shop NBC price. First payment 53.83. Please make note of that item number so you have that handy when you call in and order. Or better yet, go to the website shopnbc.com. Let me mention. We are still honoring our add and save right there with the Secure Watch Display case, saving you $90 off of our regular price. It's $185. We just want to order it. That's fine. Otherwise, $95 if you add it to a sterling order tonight. So that's kind of a nice way to be able to store and display 18 of your favorite watches. It even has a light inside, which is kind of nice. So grab one of those right now. Add it to your order, I should say. And as we continue, I just heard the strangest thing in my earpiece. It was like a radio station came in or something. That was very odd. We we are going to be sharing with you our eternal sunrise to right now. This is on a uh, uh, on a leather strap in this particular execution here, and the choice of either black or champagne dial. Mm -hmm. This is priced at one hundred nineteen dollars forty one cents. This is on clearance, ladies and gentlemen. And wow. I have presented this one in well, I think in our last visit we had it briefly, but otherwise it's been a while. And we have the two options, as I mentioned. This time we're entering into one of our first quartz movements of the uh, of the show. Yeah, this is what we call a uh, a Ronda Master Tech. I think it's the 6004, if I recall the caliber number correctly. Sounds right. But it's got the small seconds with the auto correctional big date, and it's a great choice uh, for such an elegant timepiece. Uh, this is our Eternal Sunrise 2, and uh, this is also from our boardroom collection as well. Uh, that what makes this piece so um, uh, such a standout piece in our collection is the dial work once again. You've got that classic uh, guilloche soleil pattern that we're known for, uh, which typically would come off of the center. 
uh, would emanate from the center of the dial. But in this case, you'll notice that it's actually coming out or emanating from the subdial at the six o'clock position, which is your small seconds. So that subdial kind of makes it look like a sun that is rising. It's not coming from the center, hence the eternal sunrise uh, as it's coming up and it's emanating off of that subdial. That's your small seconds. And there's that texturization. A great shot, guys. You can actually see that's not uh, painted rays on there or printed on there. That's actually the refraction of the light creating those uh, sun rays. And then all of those uh, kind of medieval style of Arabic numerals are all individually applied to this dial. There are separate pieces that are applied with little pegs that go through the dial and they're sealed on the back side. I love that champagne dial. But that is a good one. This is a great choice to use a movement that gives you a big date and small seconds because when you look at and you see the, when we call a big date, we're talking about two different discs. As you see right here, the 2-9 uh, on the uh, champagne dial, uh, you automatically would assume this is a mechanical automatic when you yes. see that big date and you see the small seconds. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't expect to see that on a quartz. So this watch gives you the look of an automatic, but it's done with the Ronda Mastertech 6004 movement. We have a customer choice designation to this watch because of all of your consistent four and five star reviews. Let's read one of the five star reviews actually. Well, beautiful watch when I received my Eternal Sunrise watch in the mail and opened the box. The first thing I noticed was the beauty of the watch. Far better than the pictures on the website or on TV. It also shows quality and manufacture that cannot be shown in pictures. It is a truly fine instrument. Gulliver from Texas for that one. I like his last line. It is a truly fine instrument. That is a very eloquent way to describe these watches because they really are well very well said Sean yeah. and uh, by that uh, customer as well you know this is a 44 millimeter uh, size case the original eternal sunrise that we did was a 40 and that one was a mechanical automatic and that was about seven years ago uh, this is the newer version which we came out with uh, I would say two to three years ago don't remember exactly uh, but here you get an opportunity to pick it up on a clearance in the middle of the night with Sean Wilsey. And take a look at those sword blade style of hands, Sean. Just going to uh, point out the touches on here. The hands, those hands, the way that they're designed. Also notice the lugs and the way that the lugs are executed yes. on this. Yes, the step design uh, on these angled lugs, Ooh. I think, is very uh, uh, very elegant. elegant. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And also, you know, this is one of the few watches that we have in our entire gallery where if, check this out, guys, if you wanted to give us a gift, and you wanted to do some engraving. Oh my gosh. M most of our timepieces don't give you a lot of room for that. But on this one, you actually have some room. Now, we, I didn't polish this off. It's kind of smudged up. But this, is, this sample's probably been around here for two or three years. But um, nevertheless, uh, there actually is some nice room for engraving here. The one, actually, yeah, good point. We're going to show this to you on Margaret's wrist. We'll just hand okay. over the one I have right there so you can see this. But, but you see yeah, what I'm saying? On the case back, and you'll notice, too, on the black dial, you have the gold plating. On the champagne dial, it's all done in the polished stainless steel. Look of white gold, certainly, right there. Uh, but you could. You could do some engraving on the back of one of these very, very easily on wonderful, genuine leather straps, which are a very high-grade... Uh, Seems mm -hmm. to be an Italian leather strap, or at least looking that way, anyways. Mm -hmm. One nineteen forty-one can get home a very elegant timepiece. Yes, on a quartz movement. Quantity remaining thirty-five, wow. thirty-four. They don't miss that. Down. I don't want to see you miss this. Al, do we have one that's more limited than the other? Or are they pretty? The black is the most. Uh, in fact, yeah, single digits now on the black execution. So that one is almost sold out. Well, they're out. going fast. Yeah, they are. A lot of people grabbing this one, and I don't blame you. It is J, um, ah, I did it again, V90688. I'm such a creature of habit. These are V item numbers here. V90688. And $39.80 is your first value payment. So you're welcome to continue to call in as we continue with some more sterling. In fact, coming up in just a little bit, we, oh, I love the Brumaldia. This is one I don't have in my collection These are yet. the new colors for 2010. I was going to ask you about that when we got into this, but thank okay. you. We'll, we'll mention that now. Grab one of those. One seventy nine eighty seven is your surprise price. I'm very anxious to get to that one. That could be the newest addition to my collection. Uh, Skin Cosmetics just concluded their opening visit 20 minutes ago, and they're going to be uh, back later on today and back in stock with this collagen, uh, collagenesis stem, stem what? Regen, that fancy word there. It's back okay. in stock. 
Maybe we should get Johnny in here to read that. Cause, you Johnny know. didn't want to come in because he saw those words oh. on the script and said, I'm not reading that. So he stuck me with it. It's going to be did. coming up at All 3 right. o'clock Eastern time. It's a great product, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So we'll just move on in the show. I apologize to all the gang and skin because they do. They make great cosmetics and great products. It's just I, 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 uh, I didn't know how to pronounce it. On to a watch for the ladies. No need to worry about this. The Derby, I, even I can handle that one. It's a beautiful piece of jewelry. And uh, great timepiece at $68.75. We have four payments on this, $17.19. It's available in black or in white, and basically that's the only decision you need to make because each one of these is on a gorgeous stainless steel bracelet. Well, the things to point out here uh, on our, uh, our Ladies Derby, uh, this is from our cla classic collection, our Lady Ascot series, actually, where every timepiece in the series is known for it, it, it's slim. It's a slimline series. So it's got a very low profile, slim quartz movement for the ladies. But you'll notice on this Swiss movement, it's three hands and a date. You, got, you have hours, minutes, and seconds, and the date. A lot of times in ladies' fashion timepieces, which are typically very inexpensive, you get either two hands or just three hands. There is no date. The men always get the three hands and a date. Uh, whereas the ladies do not. But with Sterling Original, uh, this is what we typically uh, strive to achieve, is to maintain the same level of technical achievement for the ladies as we do for the men. Uh, and that's really the main thing about this. Now also, as you mentioned, it's, the, it's a bracelet. I mean, this is a, like a piece of jewelry for a lady that happens to have a watch attached to it. Um, it's just a nice stylish bracelet for the ladies. And of course, it does have removable links. They're kind of hidden links, but they are there. There's pins that Keep them in. Most ladies will have to have links removed. Take it to a jeweler. They can pop them out for you in a matter of just, mm -hmm. you know, minutes. And you see how slim it is. Sean is measuring the thickness right here. But I'm uh, anxious to see this on Margaret. Well, and you will indeed see it on Margaret in just a second here. Let me now try it again. Now we're into millimeters. Seven and three quarter is the millimeter thickness of this watch. So it is a very thin timepiece. And realize that that is mm -hmm. watch movement. That's case back. That's crystal. That's dial. That's space for the hour hand, minute hand, and second hand to move. So that's a lot packed into a very small space. In fact, you know what? Before I hand this over, let me just double check the case. And I do stand here. corrected. I stand corrected. This is not a a Swiss quartz. This is a citizen, uh, a citizen quartz movement That's on fine. this piece, which is very, very reliable from That's citizen. I, I've said a thousand times I never have an issue with my uh, citizen-based Miyota quartz movements. They are very fine quality. Well, you know that the Japanese invented movements. quartz movements. They did indeed, absolutely. Yeah, back in the 70s. And that's what put the, uh, uh, sadly, put many of the Swiss companies out of business because everybody wanted their quartz movements. Now you're getting a fine quality one right there, 35 millimeter case diameter. But yeah, on Margaret's wrist, you'll get the best look at this because to Larry's point he brought up yesterday, it really is a piece of jewelry first and foremost. It just happens to be a great timepiece as well. But you're wearing this. In fact, Margaret has this on with a couple gold bracelets. You could easily layer this up with some of your favorite gold bracelets if you wanted to create a very fancy, very feminine sort of look, but just a wonderful way to have a, in fact, the total size of that seven and three quarter inch long bracelet, and to Larry's point, you can have links taken out of that if you need to size that down, but just a great everyday timepiece. Well said, Sean. It's our, cla so. <laughs> our, our uh, Derby Classic from our Lady Ascot series in the Classic Collection, and uh, mm -hmm. black or white. Honestly, you know what this is, guys? This is a great way for all the gentlemen out there who have been purchasing sterlings for themselves to get something for that sweetheart, to get something for that lady, gift this to her because she is going to treasure her brand new sterling original timepiece and she'll discover what it's all about. I just thought the same thing. I just, I'm looking at this and oh my gosh, we have just a couple more minutes here. We have so much there is to take you on a tour of this piece and to talk about this one. There are five individual rows of stainless steel links making this up. They're clustered together in groups of three and that's where your jeweler can make the adjustment. Some of these can be taken out so you can size this down if need be. But it's got a wonderful, let me just show you the fluidity on this. So it's just got a wonderful yeah, movement. Yeah, nice fluidity to the bracelet. It's got a deployant uh, butterfly clasp as well. Mm -hmm. And if you look real close at the uh, end near the clasp, you can actually see where the pins are. They're really think, hidden nicely. Well, I think you have to go to the there. other side. Let's try that. 
You see, yeah, you can yeah, kind of see. see, see they're, they're real subtle in yeah, there. Yeah, they are there. There they are. Yeah, you can yeah, kind of see that. So yeah, a jeweler can size this one down if you want to uh, let them deal with it. You might want them to on this particular piece of jewelry, which is what it is. You've got a fine quality watch movement and a beautiful, very feminine gift to give. The holiday, you know, I, I hate to bring this up, but we are something like 95, 96 days away from Christmas. And Hanukkah is early this year, so it's 70-something until Hanukkah kicks off. So if you want to have that first gift all taken have care of. Have you really looked ahead at the calendar for that? Someone told me the other day, so it's oh, just it's in okay. my memory. That's why. No, I, I didn't make a conscious effort to go out and hunt down those numbers, but someone someone brought it up to me, so I've kind of made mental note here. It is, but it, as I was saying, it's a nice gift to already think about for the holidays here. Yeah. 91565, your first payment. Look at the four value pays, $17.19. I was going to ask you, is today the last day of the Sterling visit? Uh, yes, because we actually are officially on Tuesday now, you and I. Yes, we are. Yes, it is so, Tuesday yeah. now. So those value pays will be done with the visit today. So you do want to take advantage of those now so you don't miss out on those value pay plans. $17.19 is your first value payment. As we move forward with another look, there is that watch storage display case from Securo. You can add that to any watch order and get it for $95, whereas ordinarily it's $185 purchase price. So some nice savings for you if you want to add that to an order. Well, it's 18 watches. Yeah. What a difference. And uh, you can pick that one up. And do we still have all three colors? I guess we do. There's a mahogany, a medium oak, or an onyx. We do have all three color options right there. Here's the website, shopnbc.com, where you can check out all of the watches, all the jewelry, the skin cosmetics, and everything else that you see right there for your perusal. And see what else uh, in Sterling maybe you will find to your liking, because we do have a lot more to get to. And uh, not a lot of time, actually, as we do wrap down this visit in the next couple hours here. Now, oh, well, I am. This is this is the hotness here. Now, you, you listen. Now, this is the first time you've seen these, right? This first time, I, yeah. This is the first time I've seen this. Um, what did you say, Al? I'm sorry. I'll first before we do this, we got to watch Larry and I are dying to get to here, but they're saying you got some business to do first. Okay. Next hour, host pick the Eclipse Two automatic three color traces with a very unique 24 hour display that we'll explain to you on the left side of your screen. Okay. Coming up next hour, 114.73 is your price. Wow. But if we had more of this next watch, it would probably be my host pick tonight. I am already in love with one of these. They're all, there are three good choices here. On the Brumalia, with the, as Larry pointed out, I was gonna say, I don't recall these colors. These are the 2010 colors that yes. you're seeing here. There is, I suppose I should put this down so you can see them at home, a black, a brown, and a blue that I am just Flipping over right yeah. here. Yeah, the blue is hot. Oh, they're all, all Larry, three, they're all, all three, good. Yeah, all three are hot. But yeah. this brown gives you a rich bronze tone. Now, right now, we're seeing the there's the blue, the blue. Okay, but take wow. a look at that brown with the bronze tone. Now, the Brumalia has become a signature piece for Sterling Original for uh, more than two years now. Uh, this is a pure mechanical timepiece. It is not an automatic. Not an automatic. Good point. So a lot of collectors who uh, collect timepieces, they're looking to get those pure mechanicals into their collection, especially if you don't have one. You literally have to wind it like you did in the old days, mm -hmm. uh, where you wind it by the crown to wind up the mainspring. But um, this is a 45 millimeter case design. Our original three executions of the Brumalia, we had a rose tone, a silver tone, and a gold tone. And for 2010, we came out with three new color executions. These are the three new color executions. And uh, you have a great opportunity here tonight. There's not a lot of them here in this hour here with Sean, but uh, it's a great oh, uh, offering here. And also, I don't know if we have it, Al, but we had some uh, photography, some high-res photography on these three new executions. If they're still in the oh, really? system, okay. uh, it would be great to see them. If not, then I apologize for bringing it up. But this is a pocket watch movement, Sean. Okay, uh, You can tell by the oversized balance wheel that you're seeing right there that's oscillating at 18,000 uh, vibrations per hour. And then you see the oversized mainspring in the lower right-hand corner of the screen there, a little mm -hmm. bit larger than your normal. And look at the high degree of skeletonization that's on this movement in. here. You know, you know, you got to realize there's a lot involved in skeletonizing a, a movement. Here's some of the uh, photos that Larry was just talking right. about. You can see these are the three modern new choices for right. 2010. Right, and that French vanilla dial on the bronze tone. That is intriguing. You know, French vanilla. And one of the things that I love about our Brumalia, to me, is the small second subdial at the 9 o'clock position. And it's got that beautiful arching bridge 
cutting across the left-hand side of the dial here. Uh, it's just spectacular. Now, which color are we going to put on Margaret? Um, good question, actually. I'm not, I just grabbed the brown because that let's wasn't on a blue. little stand. Let's, we'll let's... give Margaret the blue. Why not? That's a good idea. Okay. Your case will be done in that color. The strap will match. The buckle will match. There are three very fine choices. I've expressed my favorites, although... Now that Larry has been talking about this brown so much and I put this on, that might be trumping the blue as far as my favorite goes. I'm not sure. Uh, again, you can't make a bad choice. What did you say this case size was? I this, can is this is a, a little bit larger. 45 millimeter. This is from okay. our Labyrinthian series in our boardroom collection, Sean. 45 millimeter case design. Same exact case as our Saturnalia, our Saturnalia DT. And the distinguishing characteristic is the double mill, double step design bezel that goes around. It's like a double coin edge bezel. Uh, and you know that, uh, I call it a French vanilla dial. You might wanna, it might have a little bit more yellow than that. So it might be more of an ecru dial, but it's just gorgeous uh, with that bronze tone. Like in this brown Is version that now. And here's like the, the black. Brown version, now, check out the wind, black. Although, that could be the first to go. I'm told, in fact, the banner on the screen reflects that the black and the blue are limited right now. So those are the two that you are saying you like best. And so those two are each in danger now, of going. Take a look at this shot on the screen. You see at the bottom of the watch there, that solid like block? That's actually the spring that's wound so tightly that there's literally no gaps between the bands. And that's one of the advantages of having a skeletonized watch is you can see the mainspring. And mm -hmm. you can see if it's got any gaps between the bands if you want to tighten it up. This will run for about 40 hours when it's fully wound. Okay, almost a couple days then. And then just make sure, you know, and, and then to Larry's point, if you see that spring is starting to loosen, and if you don't know what we're talking about, it'll be very evident when you see, because that coil expands back outward. That's what's releasing the power that's powering your watch, basically releasing the energy, I should say. I know we have a customer choice review on this as well. I keep putting off reading that, and so let's do that quickly. Beautiful, this watch is a winner. It is very beautiful and very interesting in its design. From Colorado, one of our reviewers has uh, become a fan, obviously, five out of five stars. Stars. Margaret has on the blue version. The blue and the black are the two choices that are the most limited right now. Each one of those, in fact, now being updated. Each one of those single-digit quantities. So they're each in danger of going. But ladies, if you don't mind, a 45 millimeter case diameter, you can see Margaret can carry this off. Many women are wearing larger watches these days. And a pure mechanical, what a statement. That's it, yeah, all mechanical, not an automatic, all mechanical, the original art of watchmaking. So write down that item number, V91539. I don't want you to miss that. Black, blue, brown, all tremendous options. And a customer choice designation on that one. As we move forward with more for the ladies out there, the Gatsby Girl Swarovski Crystal Leather Strap Watch is $69.83. For value pay is $17.46. V91252 is your item number. Uh, we got to see that on Margaret, too. Uh, oh, absolutely. That is gorgeous. Later in the hour, I have this watch on my wrist. Not our product sample, but my own version of it. My own particular one on the right side of your screen. Well, we do have the gold tone of the rose tone. That is the Operetta with the gold-plated case, $160. First payment, $53.33 V90219. Now, as mentioned earlier, many of you are looking for, you know, we've got watches like the Operetta. That's a very classically sized watch. This next one is really what a lot of you are looking for, looking for much larger timepieces. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to tell you, a 49, almost 50 millimeter in diameter watch is definitely going to fit that bill very nicely. Three options for you. Once more, they're all slightly different. You have a red, um, let me make sure I got this. Oh, okay, here's how we have this set up. We have this set up as based on the dial color. So. Don't order based on red or you won't get a watch. If you want the red accented watch, you're ordering black mm -hmm. because they went with the internal, the actual dial itself. So if you like the red accents, you're ordering black. The next one over is going to have white and orange accents on the outside there, on, uh, just on the outer portion of the dial. If you want that, you're ordering brown, because if you look closely, you can see that's an actual brown surface there to the dial, also brown plating on the bezel. The third option is 
<coughs> excuse me, the one you're ordering if you like blue, because this has a very evident and a very intense blue dial That's and hot. blue bezel. It's just the accents, and this one also happened to be kind of a, a white and kind of a reddish orange sort of color there. Mm -hmm. But a watch with a very interesting layout. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually, just for illustration on television, going to grab a different one because I want you to see how there's a retrograde day display, mm -hmm. but it's just it's a little bit easier on TV to see this on this brown version because I love the way that this one is done. Many watches now have retrograde day displays. This one counts from Monday through Sunday, but you'll see rather than just an arrow or a hand, it's actually illuminating, quote unquote, the day from underneath. Well, uh, yes, this is our Gen X Sport and um, a very, very popular uh, model in our line. Uh, we came out with this at the beginning of this year in 2010, uh, following up on our original Gen X and then the, the Gen X Pro. Now, the Sport we put on a leather strap, but you'll notice what Sean is showing you here, we've actually built a bridge uh, that stands up off the dial and then in that bridge, there's an acrylic plate with the MTW for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the hand will go pass behind the acrylic plate under the bridge to kind of give you a background or a highlight for the day of the week. And when it gets to Sunday, it'll snap back to Monday. So that's referred to as a retrograde day of the week. And this is the Citizen Miota JR00 movement. It's got a 24-hour indicator at 9 o'clock, and it's got the calendar, the 1 through 31 subdial up at 12 o'clock. But here's the key about this. With that bridge and all the different components on the dial, you have to have the uh, hours, minutes, and seconds built up high enough on the center canyon pinion to pass over that. So the three-dimensionality of this dial is amazing. And Sean, I, I've worked with you before when you've actually done a nice job of showing that three-dimensionality of this dial. Do you think you could repeat that feat again? We're going to show it to you on Margaret's wrist first, and then I'm going to attempt to do just that, because there's, in 30 seconds here, a lot of ground to cover here. But indeed, it is a very three-dimensional dial. There's several different layers and levels to this. Your case thickness, it's not the thickest case either in, in the world. Why does this keep going back to inches, millimeters? There we go. Um, 11, 12 millimeters thick. So they've done a lot of three-dimensional work within a case that is not uh, oversized by any means. It's just a nice, comfortable size to wear. But there you can kind of see that. Uh, let's see, 100 meters of water resistance. There you go. As well. But You're there still you the pro. See you see the three-dimensionality there of this dial, the depth of this dial, and how the, the hands must pass over all those components? Yep. A lot has to happen, and wow. it's happening. Nicely Five done, Sean. are happening as well at $32.90. That really is. And that's a, a good... Good way to see how prolific this and line is. And that's a 49 is. millimeter in yes, case anybody's classics, wondering. Yes, also some modern pieces as well. Now, I do want to mention, let's see if I can do this one without messing it up. It's a 24 karat gold bracelet. Satin rose bracelet. Okay, so far so good. Back in stock after selling out in June or just arrived in time for Moon Festival. Take advantage of special Moon Fest pricing, saving you more than $630 off the shop NBC price. Uh, five value payments, the price and the value pay go away at the end of the Moon Festival event. So tune in for 24 karat gold, Tuesday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on Shop NBC. That's how you do it. I don't need Johnny's help. I can do these just fine on my very own. So make sure that you're here for that special 24 karat gold event. And Sterling Original, however, is going to continue with a lot more great watches and great timepieces, so please stand by. Some watches for the ladies are going to be coming up as well, in addition to the Symphony Operetta that I own after these words. Presenting over 200 Asian jewelry designs during our first ever 28-hour Moon Festival event. Special value pay offers, Moon Festival pricing, and one item every hour at the lowest price ever offered. The 28-hour Moon Festival event on Shop NBC. 
We were just chatting about watches for the ladies. We've got a number of fine options of Sterling Original watches for the ladies. Here is our next one, in fact. This is available in three different color options. One may be a little more traditional and more elegant. The other two may be more fashionable colors. Very straightforward this time. Black, lavender, yellow. You can figure out which one is which. All three of these are available in a Your Choice situation for $69.83. It is on clearance. Now we've taken that price and divided it by four. So one payment of $17.46 can get home this Again, kind of a classically styled watch, I guess I would say. This is fantastic. Yes, now, it really this, is. This is really our is. Gatsby girl. Uh, our most popular series, uh, I believe, uh, on our ladies' side. It's our Lady Gatsby series in our classic collection. And uh, we've got, I think, 11 or 12 different models in the series. Uh, they all have this uh, very uh, uh, distinguished case. The case design is Art Deco inspired. It really is. It looks like a rectangular shape, but if you look closely, you'll notice the sides are slightly inverted, a very slight uh, hourglass shape to this case design. But here's the thing. You see the curvature of the case, which conforms nicely to the wrist, but there it is. Thank you, Sean. You'll see the nice domed crystal with the crescent moon faceting on the sides of the crystal, a signature of our Gatsby series. Uh, and then, you, of course, you do have a Swiss quartz movement in this timepiece with three hands and a date. And you'll take a look at that dial. And in our Gatsby girl, you have a mother of pearl dial. Those are what we call alpha style hands. Again, very Art Deco inspired. And these are all uh, genuine Swarovski crystals, Austrian crystals, not only going around the bezel, but even on the dial for the hour markers and the mother of pearl in the center. Genuine leather strap. It's got a satin twill. We call it a frosted satin twill cover. And at this price point, believe it or not, you do have a push button dual deployant clasp. This timepiece was never really intended to sell at this price. Uh, this is a great opportunity, particularly any guys that are up at this hour. If you have to fill out your Christmas uh, list, uh, ladies love the Gatsby. Okay, yes, yeah, uh, very popular one. We've got three great colors here. I'd love to see which we have to put something on. Let's put all of them on her. Well, if we have time at one point or another, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. But indeed, we'll just show you the case back because very it doesn't look good on us. Too. No, it certainly doesn't. I'll tell you one thing I will do, though, to help you out before we show this on Margaret's wrist. I just want to get the ruler out here quickly. Why don't we ask Margaret what color she wants? Margaret, which color do you want? Black, purple, or yellow? Purple. Purple it is. Purple is the color. It's kind of, the of a, like an orchidy lavender here. We're going to go ahead. Yes, uh, there's your, your width if that helps you out to know how large these are uh, because it's important, you know, the whoops. Uh, the size of these watches, but a very feminine watch. They brought up a good point, though, really, with the pricing of $69.83. You don't expect that dual deployment clasp. You don't expect a mother of pearl dial. You don't expect real Swarovski crystals. And a piece. Swiss quartz movement with three hands and a date. Yes. Oh, you do get a date display. I yeah. forgot about that. This is a Ronda movement. Do they have the caliber of the Ronda in there? 725. Ronda 725 at this price point is fantastic. Uh, we could have put a much less expensive movement in this. Uh, it was not intended to sell at this price, so that's a fabulous offer offer right there. Margaret picked the right one with that lavender, and that is indeed the perfect color option, ladies. Maybe not, not even necessarily just for the season, although it is great for the season. It's just a perfect, easy color to work into your wardrobe. We've taken 35% off of our Shop NBC price. When you look at the value pays and you realize $17.46 on a major credit card, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover card can get home a very feminine timepiece and a watch that you will wear a lot. It's one of those you go to again and again and again. You know, we have a moment or two here. Let's do this. Let's show you because the lavender is beautiful. If we yeah. can change out, I want you to see the black. The black because if they want it for evening wear, that's it. Yep. That's you know, exactly whether, if you it. go out for, you know, like an evening dress or even a yep. cocktail dress. Yep, you this know? black is going to be exactly what you want. The we'll colors get that are set nice up. and playful. Let me read this customer choice and so you can see what someone sure. else had to say on this watch. It says, in fact, speaking of gift, it says great gift. I bought this watch for my wife and it looks like a million bucks. Got the lavender band and with the silver case and crystals, it is beautiful. I will surely be looking for more to add to the collection. Jefferson, too, from Santa Rosa, California. Thank you for taking time to write that review on ShopNBC.com. As all of you who purchase timepieces or anything are allowed to do on our website. But now, you're going to notice 
something different when you see Margaret wearing the black version because it does have a more of an evening appropriate maybe sort of attire. It's the kind of watch that you're wearing to those special functions when you're going out to a special evening on the town, so to speak. That is the watch that you're going to gravitate towards because let's face it, it looks like you spent a lot more than $69.83. Yeah, on the black, somehow the, the Swarovskis give more of a faux diamond effect uh, on the black yep. one. They really stand out very, very nicely. Those are all real Swarovski crystals. I don't have an actual count to the number of stones there, but there's a lot of them because they're on the bezel. They're marking your hours except at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, so there's a lot of stones that have had to be used on that particular watch. Swiss Quartz, Ronda Movement, 725 Movement, V91252 is your item number, and your first payment is $17.46. So ladies, that is your maybe evening out piece. Our next watch we're going to show you is my evening out piece, and I'm speaking from experience on this one. Anytime I attend a cultural sort of event, this is the one that I always have on. It is the uh, Symphony Operetta. Mm -hmm. We have it in gold tone or in rose tone. Your price here is $160. We have it on three value payments of $53.33. So, for well under $100, you can get home what I just I will tell you point and blank is my favorite Sterling original tying piece. And I will tell you right now, you will get I have had people ask me about this watch when they see it on my wrist mm -hmm. because people are not accustomed to seeing watches laid out like this because it just looks expensive because it is a regulator and the dial detailing is the other added bonus, that mm -hmm. incredible engraving. That, well, actually, there's two things that really add to it. The dial detailing, but also the coin edge on the bezel and is also on the case back as well. And I don't know if we showed that earlier. In fact, let me just turn this around and show you. There you can see your movement as well, but also that same coin edge detailing mm -hmm. is done on the back of the watch. Right, and it's got a little bit of a bowl-like uh, case back. You see the notches in the case back. Uh, which indicates that it is threaded. It takes a special jeweler's tool to actually unscrew that. You can see the uh, visual evidence here that this is, is in fact a mechanical automatic. There's your rotor. Uh, that's that half moon piece there with the net design. We call that a damier finish on the rotor. But uh, this is Sterling Old School right here, our Symphony Operetta. You know, we were talking about regulators a little earlier with the silver tone execution of this, and we called it blue because of the blue hands. But uh, that is actually the same model. It's just a different execution. And um, uh, these regulator timepieces were actually inspired by uh, observatory clocks back in the 1930s where they would put the hour hand and the minute hand on different axes. And then in about 1971 or 72, there's a very high-end Swiss brand. I can't say the name, but they were the first ones to actually put it into a wristwatch. Mm -hmm. Now, since then, almost all brands do their versions of regulators in many different styles, and we have probably at least a half a dozen different uh, styles of regulators. But this is really one of the first ones we, that we've done, probably the third or fourth in our collection. And it's our symphony series, and the distinguishing characteristic in our symphony series is the coin edge bezel. Someone in the control room, I won't say who, but someone in the control room hasn't listened to a darn word I've said. Because I was just told, you should have that watch. It looks good on you. This is my personal watch <laughs> that you're shooting with the camera right there. The one I am wearing is my personal version of this watch. And thank you, I think it does look good on me as well. I love this time. There is something very executive, very, ex let's call it what it is, very expensive looking when you're wearing this watch. It mm -hmm. is one that I do wear to special events. As many of you know, I'm a patron of the arts, so to speak. And anytime I'm going to the orchestra or going to a play, Play. This is the watch that I have uh, most of the time. I can't say every time, but more often than not, 90% of the time, it's safe to say this is the watch I gravitate towards because it just it fits in with that kind of an occasion. And you know, and we live in a society where you don't necessarily have to wear a suit to those events anymore. Yeah. Uh, you put this watch on though, and even if you just have khaki slacks and no, a nice shirt true. and sport coat on, the watch is very appropriate. Yeah, it's kind of like a lady that just goes out in you know torn jeans. All of a sudden, she puts on her you know a diamond bracelet or something like that, and it just yes. it, you know 
makes all yeah, the difference. Makes yeah. a big difference. Absolutely, it's the combination of the dial, the way. It, well, and, and other things like the way that the hands are done. Is there a name for that? You described it as kind of like an oar. Well, I guess yeah. Is I mean, this is. You see, it's got a rolling wave pattern um, on the dial there, and the minute hand looks like an oar. Yeah. It's actually cutting through the waves there. Uh, and then, of oh, course, the nice. uh, hour subdial. Now, if you missed a story before, in the yeah, let's watch, explain. We in, should explain. in the watch industry, they refer to this as a doctor's watch because the minute hand will not obscure the the uh, hour hand, but technically two times a day. If it's twelve o'clock straight up, right? Uh, let, you can actually take it there if you wish. I'll go but, back. Don't, by the way, go backwards with your watches. But I'll do it just yeah. to illustrate. There. Well, but he, because he went backwards, it doesn't line up exactly yeah. because he went backwards. But anyway, if Sean were to stop it there, that's one o'clock. One o five, like you illustrated before. One o five, and you notice they don't obscure each other, and no. that's why they refer to it as a doctor's watch. You do have an animated AM PM indicator over there at the nine o'clock position. That's. Here's 210. Doesn't at 210, no. Where so, that would be 210 in the afternoon yeah. because that's the sun that's showing. Look Here's at Here's that. 317. Yeah. You know, and then 422 is another place where you get that kind of yeah. typical. Doesn't happen, so. You don't have the obscuring. Boy, that is nice. Yeah. It, anyway. Very, um, very nice. I think you get the idea. Margaret has one of these versions here. Again, this is my personal one. This is the rose tone piece, my favorite sterling. And I gotta say, you know, for anybody, by the way, that has been reluctant with some of the uh, the Asian automatic movements on here, this is as accurate as any automatic I have in my collection. I've been very, very pleased with the accuracy of these. Of course, will always be the most accurate, but don't think, oh, it's not gonna keep good time or anything. No, believe, in fact, let me just see right now, because I just set this um, 5311, it hasn't, it has lost one second over the past about eight hours, so. <laughs> That's really, really good. You're actually wearing yours tonight. Am I speaking a foreign language? <laughs> Hello? I'm just kidding with Is you, Sean. Is anyone listening to me? I just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I knew you were wearing yours. <laughs> I just thought I'd get a kick out of you there. <laughs> Okay. It is time to take a look at my director's I pick. got you. No, yes, you, I believed you, actually. That was good delivery. I yeah. really believed you. The Time Traveler is next on your screen. $91.23 is your price point here. Uh, where are we? Number 10. In either the black, the silver tone, or the brown are the three options on this one. All very nice options. Now we're back into watches with the Swiss Quartz movement right here. But this... Uh, you know, this is one I was going to buy last time we showed this, and I, I didn't place the order, and I'm trying to remember why yeah. I didn't, because this is a very interesting, and I'm going to let Larry explain this, because he's good with the technicalities, mm -hmm. a very interesting way to tell the time in any number of different locations around the world. Yours. Right. Well, this is an, an amazing offer here on clearance, because this is not just our original Traveler. This is the Time Traveler, which is the same design as the original, but this is the newer version that's four millimeters larger. This is the 44 millimeter case design. And in the watch industry, this is referred to as a world timer. And by the way, on the new Time Traveler, there were, it says 39 millimeter case size. That's incorrect on that graphic. That's true. This is, is a 44, 44 millimeter case design. Yeah. Uh, this is not the the original was a 40. This is a 44. Okay, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, um, we didn't make a rose gold brown execution like you're looking at right here on the original Traveler. Right. Okay. This is the and we'll show the case back where you'll see the name Time Traveler emblazoned across. Yeah. But in the watch industry, this is referred to as a world timer. Yeah. Let's explain that. Uh, which means you can tell the time in a single glance around the world. Now, um, let's assume this is set correctly. Uh, it says Chicago between two and Just three. Just a so it's, little bit off. Here. Okay, what you want to do is you'll notice that center ring in Oops. the middle. I missed. I went too far. Um, yeah. yeah. So you want to set the Chicago at, at two, which you passed it again. Ah, I did it again. Darn okay. It. See Chicago right over there between the one, the twelve and the one. There it is. Two. There we go. Okay. And you've got it at two o'clock straight up. Yes. And we're actually only at one fifty-five anyway. Let's pretend so you it's probably should have set it at one. Because it's 1.55. Can we pretend oh, it's oh, 2 a.m.? All right, we'll pretend that it's five minutes from now. Because it's going to be in four minutes now. That's fair enough, Sean. But my point is this. If it's 2 o'clock here in Minneapolis, which is Chicago time, if you take a look over at the position over at Paris at 9 o'clock, you yes. see the 9 there? That means it's 9 a.m. in Paris. Yes. And which it is. Which it is. So in a Eight single, in London, gl in a single glance. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about this Ronda movement is that once you set it out of the box, you never have to worry about it again. Right. As the time advances forward, that 
24-hour ring will advance with it. So it's a world timer in a single glance. You can tell the time all the way around the world in a mm -hmm. single glance. It's fabulous. It's very elegant with the italicized Arabic numerals. Uh, there's the time traveler name on the dial. It's got a guilloche soleil pattern in the center and emanating all the way out to the edge. Uh, everything about it, uh, 44 millimeter case, the lug design on this with the step design, so cool. very, very elegant lugs. I'm going to grab one of them. I guess I'll grab the, I mean, I actually like the blue, but. Well, I, I don't even think I mentioned, there's three color choices. And push the, button If deployment. you want the one with the blue accents, you're ordering silver tone because it's based on the dial color. This is brown. The other choice is black. So just so we're all on the same page here. But it is the larger 44 millimeter case diameter here. You're getting the dual deployment class, which will also be done in Back. the same style, the same manner here. And let me just set this up, let's see, this way. So you can see the case back on that. It does indeed say Time Traveler right there, Swiss Quartz movement there. This is the first time and only time I've ever seen this particular movement used on any timepiece that I've ever shown you. Take two seconds since we're also seeing Cristerna Crystal there and explain that too. Yeah, well, and also you saw the screws going around the outside of the case yes. back for a screwing case back, but Cristerna is proprietary to Sterling Original. It comes from the eyewear industry. It's like tempered glass. It has more strength over a spread surface area than sapphire, so it's more shatter resistant than sapphire and even more scratch resistant than a mineral crystal. So you get the best of both worlds. The bottom line is you're not gonna break it. Yeah, so you have a good scratch resistant durable crystal right there and there you can see it on uh, Margaret's wrist. Looks very nice, 44 millimeter case diameter. Ladies, if you don't mind a larger watch, this is another one that's very executive looking. Very much so. You know, when you've got a watch on that's telling a time around the world, people are gonna wonder, why does he need to know the time around the world? And also another thing too, Sean, as we approach the Christmas season, T World timers make great gift items. Oh, phenomenal gift items. Yes. Great gift items. Uh, that is V91220. Like I said, my director's pick. He has, he has contacts all over the globe that he needs to be in touch with, and so it's important to know that you're not you know, phoning them at you know, 3 in the morning their time, so at one glance on that watch. You that can might be exactly one of the, the best is. of the hour here, Sean, it, with, it with the value would, pays as well. It would be a host pick contender, that is for sure. We I have see, fewer than 50 remaining right you now. You wore one, yours two, two, zero. to the show. Your, yes. I wore my new Alpine Sport. I didn't even realize that, yes, indeed, we do have that coming up. In fact, we're, we're going to officially now begin our second hour of Sterling Original Time Pieces right here. With a look at some of the watches that are coming up later on, we have for the ladies out there, the Aphrodite Automatic, yes, that's oh. an automatic movement, ladies, and that one, one twenty nine seventy four is your surprise price. The 90768, three color choices, which we'll take you through in just a little bit. So stand by for that one. One of the larger watches we're going to show you is next on your screen, certainly not on that one, but on... Of this one getting into, oh, this is, excuse 41. me. 41. Yes, this I was going to say. This is, I, I thought we were going to show a different one. This is the 41 millimeter. This is the Emperor. We have one in the show. I thought we scheduled it in the show, too. That is, uh, maybe the second 49. hour. 49. Well, we're starting the second hour. I now. knew that. Okay. 199.95 is your clearance price. First payment, 39.99. There's just a weird energy in the air tonight. I don't know what it is. My host pick coming up later on in the show. This is our Eclipse 2 on an automatic. This actually has one of the most unique 24-hour displays I've seen. We'll, we'll have to teach you about that. We will. $114.73 is your intro price. V90472. Oh, by the way, if you're ordering any of the watches that I'm showing you, in this sterling final hour here or in the previous hour and if you add that watch storage unit over my shoulder there to your order the display case it becomes ninety five dollars purchase with purchase price ordinarily in fact if you just want to order it, it's 185 dollars and you can i don't know why you would when you can save that ninety dollars in fact put that ninety maybe towards one of the time pieces you're going to see here like the alpine sport chronograph 168 dollars 25 cents is your price um, I, I have an Alpine in my personal collection. Not this one. This is larger. This is a bit sportier. Larry has on. Um, he wore it's his a brand personal. New, it's a brand new model. Uh, and tonight. as soon as it came in, I had to have it because, uh, you know, I, I never really went all out crazy for the original Alpine, even though it's our You're the only one. I know, because it's the number one selling <laughs> mechanical automatic, one. you know, from our Lifestyles collection. Yeah. We sold thousands. But when I saw this, I had to have it. It's the 52 millimeter case size. It's the new large case size, but we put a chronograph in it. And for me, this just makes it. And the black and white, mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm I'm totally into the black and white. I I dig it. It gives it to me in a kind of an Italian look. It's a and it's not totally jet black. It's it's a deep gunmetal. Well, you know what? You're right. It's a deep gunmetal case. It's got a matching buckle. It's got the Citizen Miyota OS20 movement in it. Very very reliable chronograph movement. And it's a 52. And it's a new rubber strap. We made a new mold for this. It's got those kind of like ridges going down the edge. You see the big sterling. Uh, mm -hmm. Name emblazoned into this rubber strap, a high-grade silicone, very soft rubber strap. I love this piece. I had to have it. Well, and I can see why you would love this one so much, because it is a larger piece. It's got a real uh, rugged sort of feel to it. Larry has on his sample right there, and you can get a good idea how this is going to fit a larger wrist. Actually, in a standard size wrist, I guess you would say. You have, what did you say, an 8-inch eight wrist? Eight, I wear an 8. Okay. And look at that. That's really good looking on you, actually. Yeah, ab absolutely. And, you know, uh, this will definitely accommodate uh, probably up to a 9-inch wrist. you got a nice, generous strap on this. And it's a big 52-millimeter case size as well. And also, for those that are saying, well, I don't know, is it, is it going to curve and be comfortable? The lugs on this do curve. Slope, yeah. They slope. Good term. Yeah. That helps with the comfort factor on this. If that were a flat piece and you were to put that on, yeah, it'd be a little awkward to have something like that on your wrist. But because of the curvature of the lugs, it makes it very comfortable. I want to show you, too, and you might have noticed this earlier. In addition to that, going downward, notice the dome upward right here. You can see the height that you're getting on your crystal here. That is a very large... In fact, you know what? In diameter, I just want to measure that. In diameter... That's a 40 millimeter in diameter crystal that you're seeing right there. The crystal in mm -hmm. diameter is larger than some watches are right. in their entire diameter. Right, and some of the signature characteristics of our Alpine series are clearly evident here. You see the same tonneau shaped case, you see the scalloped edges of the case, you see the big bulbous style crown, and you got those little bulbous style pushers. Mm -hmm. We have what we call a chakram style bezel here. Um, the slope of the lugs, this is the Alpine case. Instead yes, of just a skeletonized mechanical automatic, we've now put a chronograph uh, in it, and that does it for me. So this is the Alpine Sport, and here's this big, massive timepiece on Margaret. She's got such a delicate wrist. You know, some women aren't going to be as fond of that look, and that's fine, but a lot of women are liking larger watches, so give it a try. Of course, 30-day money-back guarantee. This one is brand new as of this week. It's only probably the third time that you've even seen this one. First time I have presented this one, so it is brand new to me as of tonight. But a nice way to add that Alpine to your collection. Many people have been big fans of the Alpine, but maybe you are in a similar situation as Larry, and there was just something that kept you from purchasing the original Alpine. Well, now you're looking at this one and thinking, hmm, the chronograph does it. The others, for those that don't know, if you're not accustomed to our Sterling shows, the others were all automatics. Were they all automatics? Were there any yeah. other exceptions? Uh, well, in the early, early, early days of Sterling, um, before the Alpine came out, there actually was a quartz and a chronograph before the Alpine took off, but it, okay. it never really caught on okay. until we did the skeleton. And then, of course, now we've done tens of thousands yes. of the skeleton. But if you've been waiting to see something other than a skeletonized automatic, this is what you have been waiting for. And the larger case size, the trend in America, larger watches. Yeah. Now, some guys have said, well, I've got my limit, though. 55, 60, that's a little bit too much. At 51 millimeters, did you say, in case diameter? Uh, 52. But this okay. is kind of, a, you know, an odd-shaped case because it's, I'm calling it a tonneau, but it's really a round case where uh -huh. just the sides kind of jut out, and it's got the scalloped edges uh, to the case. Is and it, like I said before, it's not just a pure jet black, either. It's kind of a very deep gunmetal. The I don't know if that's coming right. across on the, on the TV as yeah, well. I hope you're seeing it at home because, indeed, Larry is right on the money. It is absolutely that. But it's either way a great fit, a great feel, wonderful on, and with two value payments of $84.12. That is all you're spending. So spending very, very little, getting a lot in return. The black and white combination is nice. The only red touches are the second hand for the chronograph, the minute mm -hmm. hand, and you have a little ring on the crown that is done in red. Feels like a, a rubber, 
almost like an O-ring or something yes, right absolutely, there. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. That you have on the crown, and I've, I've got it over here on mine, although Larry's showing you the case back yeah, to Yeah, and, and this is mine, so it's been against my wrist all yeah. day pretty much, so it's a little spudgy. Yeah, but there you can see that little red ring up there on the crown that mm -hmm. I was talking about. So you have that little extra touch. But a great way to get an Alpine home if you've been looking for a larger one, and we have fewer than 100 remaining of this particular Alpine. So even though it's brand new, it's been very popular, and many of you have already grabbed one. You're still welcome to call in V91667 and say, I'd like to add an Alpine to my personal collection. We've got it for you, V91667. Now, actually, our next one, along with the Alpine, is kind of an iconic Sterling by yes, this point. So very many much. of you have seen this. Now, I know last night we were in danger of selling out of the yellow. Al, could you give me a, an idea where we are with the quantity on the yellow? Oh, we're even. I beg your pardon, then. Okay, we are even on these. So the multicolored has caught up now. You're selecting either yellow or multicolor. I'm not surprised. I was, in fact, I was kind of surprised last night that the yellow was in danger of being the first to go. Price at $83.43, five payments, $16.69. If you know your if you know your watches, if you know your Swiss brands and your Swiss timepieces, you're gonna look at this, especially the multicolor. Another name is probably going to come to mind immediately. Mm -hmm. This, and, and I meant to check this earlier, but someone had said to me that they thought the Sterling was actually a little bit larger than the other one. It is. It is. Okay. Well, okay. especially so this right. one. Absolutely. Yes. It, it absolutely is. Uh, this one is 50 millimeters from 12 to 6. Yes. Uh, the original Uptown Ozzy was uh, 45 millimeters from 12 to 6. And when we went larger, what we did, Sean, is we actually curved the case. The original Uptown Ozzy is a, a flat case. And it's really great that it's curved because it stretches from one end of the wrist uh, practically all the way to the other. Uh, Sean's going to give you a nice view of the curvature of this case. And this particular um, version of it on the leather strap, uh, ladies can wear this as well. Guys with small wrists can wear this because the strap, as Sean is showing you right there, you can swing it immediately to wrap your wrist. On the bracelet version of the Uptown Ozzy, uh, on the bracelet version, you can't do that because the end links actually extend out, and so on small wrist, it doesn't work. This one will, and we'll actually show this to you sure. on, on um, Margaret's wrist. But this is fabulous because not only did we curve the case, but the original Uptown Aussie was three hands and a date. This is three hands with not only a day and date, but a bilingual day and date. You actually have French and English on this Ronda movement, so therefore, you can set it to either language you want, French sure. or English. Yeah, and once you have it set, it will stay in that one. It will bypass your the other language, and it will stay in the language then. Now, and this is something I always bring up too. Day and date displays. Don't expect at midnight exactly they're both going to jump into position. There's a process over a period of hours whereby those wheels will change. And it's during that time, usually between 9 and 4, 10 and 5, where you don't want to manually be adjusting. Right now, this time of night, you don't want to manually adjust a day or a date display, correct? That's correct, yes. and uh, you, you want to make sure that the, uh, the date wheel's not engaged. Yes. But um, here we go on, on Margaret. Good looking, now, again, Honor. On Good a looking. very, very petite wrist. Yep. I mean, just like, look how fashionable that looks. Yeah. That's, and it's got the nice perforated uh, leather strap as well. Mm -hmm. um, I love the yellow version. And, of course, the multicolor look on the black. I mean, the multicolored numerals is really the look that started it all with this. It was first done by a very high-end Swiss brand, and you see, uh, you know, guys that are executives and very, you know, wealthy, you know, uh, CEOs and chairmen uh, wearing these multicolored numeral watches that cost tens of thousands of dollars. And many companies now have uh, taken their whack at this look by either using pastels or earth tones. We're using jewel tones, and we back it up with that guilloche soleil pattern in the background there. Wonderful dial detail. It'll be 9124. Spectacular offer. $83.43. You've got a clearance price in place on that one, so it's your final opportunity. So write that at a number down. Uh, gentlemen, I almost said ladies because we're already getting set for our next timepiece here. I do want to share with you our Excalibur coming up later in the hour. In fact, we'll get to that in just a couple minutes. $199.42 is your intro price. We've got three payments of $66.47. The next one is one I have not personally shown you. It is another world traveler, but this is done in a 
well, almost a futuristic sort of way. Mm -hmm. That is contemporary. I love it. This what? is the 2010 version of the one we just saw, the Time Traveler. It's got a refresh dial design, and we went from 44 up to 46. That is so cool. Yeah. You, you got to... Well, a few thoughts we'll get to when we get to a full explanation on that one. Ladies, something just for you right now. And um, surprise prices in place on this of $129.74. Yes. Your first payment is $25.95. Now, there are many occasions, in fact, you've seen them over the past two nights, three nights, actually, three days with Sterling, where we've had some great watches for the ladies. You probably have noticed a trend, though quartz movements on every single one that we've shown you, that I've shown you, I don't know about in Libby's show, that are designed for the ladies. This is a watch for the ladies, available in gold tone, silver tone, or rose tone. I'm going to focus again just a couple of these here. I've got some personal favorites here, the rose tone and the silver tone. But this is actually running a mechanical automatic move, an automatic movement mm -hmm in a watch for the ladies that has a case size that I'm actually going to measure for you unless you know off the top of your head. I do. It's a okay. 35, but 35. You, feel Thank free you. to measure. Uh, Sean, this is our Aphrodite, and Sterling Original has become, this is an amazing, amazing offer right here because this has 11 points of diamonds. You literally have 23 stones for 11 points of diamonds going around the perimeter of that freeform heart in the dial here. But you've got, you have a skeletonized mechanical automatic timepiece with a feminine orientation for the ladies. Sterling Original has become a leader in the watch industry in the way of doing not only mechanical automatics for the ladies, but skeletonized mechanical automatics for the ladies. We started about six years ago with our Lady Wall Street in this exact same case, a very popular case for us. Uh, it's like a donut style of case where the edges are convex, they're kind of curved out. And um, uh, what we've done here, instead of your traditional kind of round uh, dial opening where you can see into the movement, it's got the heart opening. And, and it's, it's so a free form heart. So uh, it's from our romance collection, our love series, where all the, the timepieces in the love series are, you know, skeletonized with the heart. And we've got the Venus and the Cupid and the Aphrodite uh, uh, Delight, which is rough. But this is the one that um, really took off here at Shop NBC. We've sold many thousands of this piece here at Shop NBC. And uh, it's got 11 points of diamonds. And any guys that are up right now and your wife is sleeping or whatever, uh, you know, here's a great opportunity to get a diamond watch, mechanical automatic, great gift items here. And there is a gold tone version as well. I, I think the sample is lost or whatever, but we'll have a picture of it here. The gold tone is the one that we actually pictured in Watches International. It's got a champagne colored dial. But here's a nice uh, view of the exhibition case back where you can see that ST9008920 joule movement. And there's the balance wheel over on the right-hand side that's oscillating at six beats per second, which is 21,600 vibrations per hour. And you can see even the rotor has been skeletonized and it's showing the engraved scroll work as well. Beautiful detailing. And yeah, again, beautiful teardrop out. lugs on this. And we have to get this on Margaret. We will. To, yeah, you know, because it is. It's perfectly sized. For There's the that gold tone right there. there. Now, your case diameter is 35, and, and I'm going to give you a width, but realize the width is actually from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock, counting the crown. It's just shy of 38 millimeters wide. Uh, we're going to read you a customer choice review, and boy, I'm going to take a deep breath. This is going to take a while. Wow! This is my first sterling, and what an impression. I got the rose tone, and it goes with both my silver and gold jewelry. The watch is beautiful. Not too big, but also in line with today's sizes. Easy to read and comfortable. The bronze band complements the rose tone to perfection. I first saw this watch around Christmas time and finally gave in, so glad I did. Blingy from Brooklyn, New York. An excellent review right there. Good description on the, the rose tone accent. Calling that a bronze band. That is kind of a strap, technically. Yeah. A different sort of a bronzy sort of hue. I that's think a that's a great call. Yeah, I would yeah. call that a bronze, uh, a bronze colored strap as hmm. well. Um, you know, if you like that uh, romantic red, I think you would order that as the silver tone. Right you are. If you like the uh, vintage look of the uh, rose gold, you know, you'd order the rose tone. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the gold tone gives you the champagne colored dial here. But no matter which way you go, you're getting 11 points of diamonds, mechanical automatic skeletonized. So any ladies that are new to watchmaking or new to Sterling Original, keep in mind there's no battery in this timepiece. Uh, you give it a wind to get it started. And just by the m natural movement of your wrist, it's going to keep the watch wound. Uh, it's no longer a thing of... 
uh, skeleton mechanicals just for the guys anymore. Sterling Original makes it possible for the ladies as well, but here we've done it with a feminine orientation. And there's even little etched hearts that are going around the perimeter of that heart that you see on the dial. If you get the right angle on the light, you'll see little etched hearts on there as well. You can kind of look through that, that heart there now and see the movement, but in some mm -hmm. places you can look literally all the way through because of the exhibition case back there. Right. $129 for an automatic for the ladies. We don't see a lot of automatic watches designed for the ladies out there. Most of the time you're going to find, at least in a case size of 35 millimeters, a quartz movement. So it's kind of a nice treat for the ladies to be able to get an automatic of their own. B90768 and one payment of $25.95 and you're in on something very exciting, gals. A watch design just for you. Now, I'm going to show you, that's, remember, 35 millimeters in diameter because we're going to show you the opposite of that in just a second. Coming up, though, a mid-size regatta. This is a good one, too. Surprise price of $84.67 and four payments of $21.17. V91518. Okay. So a second ago, you saw a watch 35 millimeters in diameter. I'm going to show you a watch now that is, is that reset or is that really 55? Wow. 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock, that's 55 millimeters in diameter. Yeah, we have a very technical term in the watch industry for, for a watch like this, Sean. What's that? It's a big one. But, you know. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Measuring this on the bezel, it's 51 millimeters. I'm falling yeah. for all his tricks tonight. Uh, the bezel <laughs> diameter is 51, case diameter 55. Your width on this, counting the crown lock, yeah. 60 and a half millimeters wide. Yeah, our X caliber, Sean, is absolutely awesome. And, you know, um, I've got a uh, the red version, which we don't have here tonight. No. This is all sold out. But I'm going to get the orange. Uh, you and I did this show last night. and. I kind of fell in love with this orange. I wear my red one all the time. But uh, there's the green option, by the way, just to show you, because there's some little changes there. It's the green accents you can see with kind of a gunmetal bezel. Here's the orange, a lot more visible orange there. You have the orange accents, but also the orange bezel, the crown, the pushers. Contrast stitching on the strap will be done in the same color as well. Yeah. And then the blue, which is going to have similar to the orange, blue on the bezel, blue on the crown, and on the pushers, and blue contrast stitching on the strap. Yeah, um, I'm going to give it a shot so people can see the, the size on the wrist. Now, keep in mind, I have a, I have a pretty big wrist uh, at an 8-inch size. So, uh, yeah, I tried know, this, this on last night, and I was pretty forthright that, you know what, probably for a guy of my wrist size, 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist, it, it might not be the perfect watch for you. It is a little bit on the large side, yeah. but I'm the anomaly. I'm the unique one. So for most of you, this is going to work, and Larry is putting one of but these on. But this is a head turner. and Oh, it is. It, it absolutely it, is. It's I'm from our Safari there. series, and this is the, let's see, the fourth watch we've done now that has that crown uh, protector, that bridge for the crown, and it's got a locking guard, the crown guard, that actually will lock down the crown. And this one is equipped with, this is the best one we've done as far as I'm concerned, but this has the Ronda StarTech 5040D with a tenth of a second and 10 hour counter. There's that tenth of a second indication flying around, add and split functionality. So you do have a world class quartz chronograph movement with six jewels. Typically you do not get any jewels in quartz movements. You see the pushers with the matching color, the Duracoche finish on the bezel and the pushers here, all the different dial components. And here's an over, overall look on the wrist here. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is awesome. I, I love wearing mine. And I'm getting this orange one for sure. Everyone knows I love the orange, but look at that. There's I'm, a, a real hot. presence this makes when you put this one on. And I'm just I'm going to drop this on the scale just to tell you because this is on a leather strap. This and watch the weighs 178.5 right. grams. And the leather strap, by the way, is fantastic on this. It's got like quilted padding, but it's not done with stitching. It's got like a heat seal treatment going between the pads right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice, wide, genuine leather strap, properly made, properly done. Well, and the quality of this strap is something that you will feel. You can literally, you know good leather, you can feel it when you hold it. You'll feel yeah. that here. Your width on this strap is about 28 millimeters yeah. wide, so it is definitely to coordinate with the larger case size. It's a larger leather strap that, that you're blue. going to get. The blue is wonderful. If you love, if you're a jeans and t-shirt kind of guy, then this is absolutely going to be the perfect one for you because you have just that beautiful blue tone. The dial is interesting though. Let me turn it yeah. upright just so you can see the detailing on the dial because it's like there's this 
column going down from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock there. Well, this is right in that, uh, in that spot of, you know, Sterling Original 2010. I mean, uh, we've been really stepping up our make all year long. Uh, this is new. Uh, it really, we came out with this just um, about two months ago at the JCK. Uh, so uh, this is part of the whole new wave of Sterling in 2010. And um, we're, we're just so, so proud of everything we're doing. And uh, this is right in there with our new Excalibur. The green, as Sean was pointing out, uh, is really more of a gray version, but you do have some green accents on the hands and the markers. So it's a lot more subtle, and they're calling that green. You don't have like the green bezel like you do with the blue and the orange here. I've been out and voted. The crew said, let's see, and I'm Margaret. I'm like, mm, I don't think this is a watch for the ladies, but they said, nope. I got news for you, okay? So, I mean, okay. I've been out and voted. There are, you know, ladies that are going to say, I don't care. I'm wearing it, and it's fashion. It's my boyfriend's watch, and I'm wearing it, you know? <laughs> I'm going to be blunt. Okay. I hate that on her wrist. I just think that is so large. But again, what do I know? Because every time I say this watch isn't for her, some woman's going to woman's going to pick it up. So, yeah. I just think it's for a larger guy. All it takes is someone like Twiggy to walk down the runway wearing it and then all of a sudden everybody's going to be wearing it. I know. I know. Be it, you know? So, you know, that's just that is my opinion. Um, Did I just date myself a little bit right there? The sad thing is I totally got your reference. <laughs> I, I understood it completely. I went with it. Nobody even knows what we're talking about. The control about. room just said, who's that? Yeah. They don't know. Oh, that is pathetic. One ninety nine forty two. First payment, $66.47. A couple mornings ago, I, I was, uh, well, I, I don't know, it's probably a local thing I was talking about. On Sunday mornings, I used to watch one drama. It was this kid's show in the 70s. Nobody had any idea what I was talking about. But anyway. She might have been the first. A supermodel? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I, yeah, absolutely she was. I, I, I don't doubt that at all. Anyway, here's that product, again, that I can't pronounce, but it's from Skin Cosmetics, and it's a great product, and it's back in stock after selling out in July. It's an anti-aging breakthrough that will help you combat harmful effects of, this, of the sun, reduce the appearance of wrinkles, plus it includes a fast-acting anti-wrinkle ingredient. Get it now on two-value payments, Skin Cosmetics, Tuesday at 3 p.m., and you'll be able to, uh, to learn how it's pronounced, and you'll learn all about the other uh, great benefits of that item. So there we go. What number are we up to? We're up to number five here. I'm falling behind with all of the, uh, the things we have to do because it's time to take a look at our new world traveler. I haven't shown this one before. The one we had last hour, I've shown a couple times, but this particular variation of it, I have not seen this before. This is the 2010 uh, model of our, in our adventurer series of our traveler. And you can see it's the same Ronda movement. It's kind of got the similar design where you see the ring of cities, you see the cutout in the center of the dial, but we've given it a refreshed dial design. Uh, if you take a, a real close look, a very interesting dial design because you actually have Roman numerals on the right-hand side of the watch with your, you know, you got actually like a tw Roman numeral 12 at the top and a stick marker at one and two and a Roman numeral three over there and mm -hmm. stick marker at four and five and then down at six, a Roman numeral six. But then on the left-hand side, You've got your minute markers, your 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So very unusual dial design, and it's kind of got these circles that are intertwined. Uh, and then on the case back as well, you have a, a decorated case back uh, for our world traveler. We have what we call a biplane design on the case back. It is screwed in. You'll see the screws going all the way around, you know, the bezel. But again, our traveler series, it's actually our adventurer series, but our traveler, time traveler, and world traveler have become you know absolute signature pieces for our brand and um, this is the refresh design for 2010 and it's it, it's a winner I mean it's it's done great here at shop NBC already one of the phenomenal things about this piece is again the way that you can tell the time in all of these different places now I'm just gonna set this up to three o'clock it's, it's easier to make this adjustment when you're at an hour as opposed to 15 or minutes in or 20 minutes well, in. Well, when you set the time, you should set it at a straight ahead hour, and then once you have it set, then bring it forward to the current time. Right. And then once you have that set, it's going to stay 
in place. Now, where's, where's Chicago and New York on this particular one? They moved it. There yes, it is. It's, it's down at about the 4 o'clock position. It. So I'm going to get this lined up where it is 3 o'clock in Chicago, where, and we're just going to pretend, 4 o'clock in New York, and so forth and so on. Because then, and I have it lined up now, as you look at this white dial where all of these numbers are set. 1 through 24. 1 through 24, right you are. Pick a city. All of these cities now correspond to the current time of day in right. all of these locations around the world, assuming, again, it was 3 o'clock in the central time zone. Right, so if it's 3 o'clock here in uh, Minneapolis, then it's going to be, uh, where's, I just saw uh, Ma Bangkok, okay, that'd be 4 o'clock in Bangkok. Yes. At 1600. In Paris, it would be 10 o'clock, London, 9 o'clock, and then as your time moves forward, that wheel moves in conjunction with your local times. You're always right. going to know exactly what time and it is. And if I didn't say it before, uh, what we did also with the new design is we went two millimeters larger. We're up to 46. The original Traveler was a 40. Okay. The time Traveler that followed that up was a 44, and now the new World Traveler, we went up to 46. <clears throat> Let me put this on so you can see exactly how large that oh, is. You, you know what's you, funny about this? Because, because of the way the dial is done with the, those, those unique layouts, it almost looks like an oval-shaped dial or an oval-shaped case. It's not. It's a round case, mm -hmm. but it's going to play almost like an oval because you have that offset ring yep. on the dial where your minutes are marked off on the left side. Wow, really nice look on. It is just, it's very executive looking. The yeah. guy that's wearing this watch looks like he's got to know. He's got business contacts. There's some reason why he needs to know the time in all of these cities around the world. Nobody needs to know you have it just because it's kind of cool to see all the time in the different places there. Customer choice item as well. We'll read one of the customer choice reviews of, on shopnbc.com. I believe we are on this one, aren't we? So we can find out what somebody else had to say on this particular watch. Do we or don't we have one of those? Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm telling you, I feel like I'm speaking a foreign language well, <laughs> and nobody's comprehending <laughs> Anything I'm saying here. Why? Because you wanted to see the customer choice. Did I, I mention I'm wearing my own personal version of this watch? Love, love, love this watch. Oh my goodness, I would recommend to any and everyone to purchase this watch. I mean, I love everything about it. The color choices for the straps, just classy and modern. Nissy, thank you for that five out of five star review on mm -hmm. shopnbc.com. The 91399. That was one of my favorite comedy ever, Faulty Towers. It was a great scene where uh, Basil, the main character, was doing things or saying something and he thought, am I invisible? Nobody can see me. <laughs> and then he finally says, okay, fine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go hit some guests. That's just, uh -huh. just that's, that was his character. Anyway, um, look at this on market. As I said before, Sean, you know, uh, world traveler timepieces time, are make great gift items mm. because it's not, it, you know, a lot of times it's not something someone runs out there and buys for themselves, you know, but uh, it's always good to know, like, if you do business in other countries or you travel a lot mm -hmm. or you know somebody who lives in another part of the country, uh, they're just great gift items. They're conversation pieces. Twenty-three ninety-five is that first easy interest free value payment. I know you heard that. I hope you did anyways because that is nice to be able to spread out the payments over five months. Two nice color options too so you can pick up in either the black or the brown. That brown doll, that beautiful kind of a rose tone almost finish that you get is a nice choice. They're both good. Choice is yours, but that is the 2010 version of that World Traveler, so enjoy it. And uh, then we're going to get you right into our mid-size regatta. Now, we're calling this a mid-size watch. It's it, 41 millimeters it's a in ladies. diameter. This is a ladies' timepiece, okay? Yeah, and, and it's, let me just double-check my size. Yeah, 41 millimeters it's, in it's diameter. A, it's a very bold piece for a lady, but it is a ladies' timepiece. because The original regatta Valiant for the men is a 50 plus millimeter, so it's a big bold piece for the guys. So it's intended to be bold. Mm -hmm. um, it's a 41 millimeter for the ladies, but you'll notice it has the, um, you'll get the colors here in a second, but yes. it's got kind of those, that little curly cues uh, going down the center links as a design element, but it also has Swarovski crystals as hour markers on the dial as well. Mm -hmm. That's the orange. 
option that you're seeing right there because of the accents that you're going to see on the bezel. The next one over is the brown, beautiful brown touches and brown accents right there on the bezel. Then we have the green version, nice light green, lime green maybe uh, color right there. And then finally, we have the red version, which you'll see in just a second here. Now, and I agree with Larry completely. We're calling it midsize. It is more for the ladies. Now, to that end, I want you to know that this is on a very solid stainless steel bracelet. So it's not, uh, you know, we had the, the leather strap pieces earlier. They were a little bit maybe lighter pieces. This one is heavy. So I'm going to weigh this on the scale here so you can get an idea how heavy this is going to be. And let me do that right now because this is going to come in at a full 176 grams in weight. Now, regatta might imply sailing, might imply water. This is water resistant as well. Guess how much? 10 feet. 200 meter water resistant. This is something new for Sterling Original in 2010. We're doing some 200 meter water resistant timepieces, professional dye pieces, and this is a 200 meter water wow. resistant timepiece for the lady, Sean, and uh, it's got the unidirectional ratcheting bezel as well, Swiss quartz movement, three hands and a date, screw down crown, solid 316L stainless steel bracelet, and look at the price, a 200 meter water resistant timepiece. Now, for ladies with that are you know very delicate or dainty or petite, and they don't like to wear bold. This won't be for them. But if you are a lady that's running around, taking the kids, you're a soccer mom, you're you know you you, you like wearing a bold timepiece, okay? That you can really you know take a beating. This is a 200 meter water resistant timepiece, Sean. And look at the price; it's fantastic. Uh, for this price. Well, and when you do consider that that price has been divided into four, so $21 can get this home on any major credit card, that's a good way to get this home. For the woman who's looking for something that is not necessarily girly girly, you know, we had the butterfly piece Correct. earlier that is very, very feminine. Maybe you want something that is a little bit more nautically inspired. Absolutely. And we have uh, our Lady Regatta. We have our Regatta La Femme with diamonds, our yes. Regatta Madame with diamonds, which are much more feminine. But this is the Lady Regatta Valiant. That's the proper name of this timepiece. Um, I, I almost wish they didn't put midsize up there because that's really not... Uh -huh. When you say midsize, it's implying that it's for a guy, but it's got crystal markers. It's got the design element down the center. The regular uh, regatta does not have that. This is our Lady Regatta Valiant, and the Valiant version is bold and 200 meter water resistant. This is a very bold uh, variation of our regatta for the ladies. This does have a ratchet bezel. So when we talk 200 meters, we're talking about dive specifications. It does have the ratchet bezel, which a diver would use to time their dive. In fact, even the clasp is done in more of a dive manner where you have the fold over with the safety catch and there's actually dual pushers that you have to release or press down upon in order to open that clasp up. Right and you can see that wave pattern in that unidirectional bezel and that apple green is kind of an unusual green not to be confused with that kind of celery green shirt you have on here tonight Sean. Yes, as we pointed out 50 times, crystals marking the hours there, so you do have more of a feminine touch right there, taking you all the way through the bracelet, Push button. all the way through the back. Yeah, th and this is what I wanted you to see, because here's your safety catch. You have the sterling insignia on that. There's just a little room there where you can get in there with your fingernail, pop that open, but unlike many, if not most, class, where you just then pop that part open, no, dual pushers right there. That really locks yeah. it in place nicely. Yeah, the make on this timepiece, properly made, well made. Uh, this deal, at uh, the surprise price, I have two words for this deal. I hope they're clean. Not normal. I will agree with that, absolutely. Not normal, folks. Absolutely. By the way, there you can see the pattern goes down the bracelet. The color is going to be, and that I think that adds another feminine touch to it. So absolutely. I'm, I'm in complete agreement. Mid-size, eh, it's for the ladies out there. 84, oh, did, oh, and I did weigh that. And again, that was, you know, 170 grams. So it is a bit of a heavier yeah. piece. Your watches that are water resistant to that kind of a depth usually have to be. Uh, so you can have that added water resistance down to 200 meters. Do you get the date displayed down in the 6 o'clock position on that one, too? 
too. The 91598 Ladies, a great way to get yourself interested in a sterling original timepiece. And I hope you're continuing to call in. I hope you check out shopnbc.com because we have a whole bunch of good things going on. You can check out what's new, our hottest arrivals there. You can check out Skin Cosmetics, and there it is, Sterling Original. Check out what else is in the line because we can't possibly show you everything in the Sterling Original collection. There we go. There it is. And you can see that there's page after page of Sterling Original timepieces. I recognize some of those. Some of those we'll be showing you a little bit later on in the show as well. In fact, the Sterling Original lineup continues. Collection's 10th anniversary. A brilliantly orchestrated collection of everything you love. Refreshing. Glamorous. Dazzling. Celebrating 10 years of style with 10 signature pieces. Love how you look in the Pamela McCoy Collection. And we continue with Sterling Original Time Pieces, Larry Mangan and myself uh, for another 25 minutes or so. Is this the last show or do you have another one? Uh, I come back at um, 8 o'clock this morning Central. Okay. So 9 a.m. Eastern with Katina. Okay. So and then one... later in the day, I think I'm with Livy at 3. Oh, so you got a couple shows. I don't know. Oh, Somebody I didn't know. Later, okay, later in good. the day. Good. Couple more opportunities. And then I go back then. to New York Tuesday night. Let's take a look at our next watch on your screen. It is the, and there it went, it's the Emperor Dual Time Zone Strap Watch for $199.95. And we have, uh, do we or don't we have five value payments? Do we have five value payments? Okay, not Fantastic. on my card. So that's, it. but if it's not, if it says five value payments, we'll take five value payments, won't we? So $39.99, we'll get this home in one of three choices. And again, kind of straightforward here. There's a rose tone, there's a silver tone, or there's a gold tone. But it's not just the case that I want to draw your attention to because there is a ring on the outer portion of your dial, I guess you would say, where mm -hmm. your numerals are placed. And that ring is kind of important because that is a real piece of mother of pearl. Yes. Uh, a mother of pearl chapter ring with the Roman numerals that are individually applied and that's probably one of the most difficult things to do in the manufacturing of our emperor an all-time signature piece for our brand maybe the most formal dressy timepiece that we make um, has been for almost uh, well about five years now and uh, these three executions here all have the black dial with the black mother of pearl but that black mother of pearl has to lay flush it's actually in a channel and it must lay flush with the dial but take a look over there by the three o'clock position. That is your secondary time zone over there. And you'll notice that the mother pearl has to be custom cut to actually fit around that subdial. And it gets rather thin over there by the Roman numeral three. But the first thing you're gonna notice about our emperor, this is from our old world treasures, Sean. And um, it's a throwback to the old days where they used to strap pocket watches to the wrist. Uh, that's how wrist watches began. Uh, and when they had pocket watches, the crown was always at the 12 o'clock position in mm -hmm. those days. And so that's how wristwatches began, and it took about uh, uh, close to 20 years before somebody finally figured out that, hey, if I put the crown at the 3 o'clock position, then I'll have a, a less inhibited There's way of attaching the strap. I'll show you right there. Right. And yes. it's got a cabochon on top of the crown. That's another difficult thing about making this timepiece is the engineering for the for the uh, crown and bow at the 12 o'clock position. But this is a 41 millimeter case design. It's a very dressy timepiece and one of the, we call it an open heart where you, you can actually see a balance wheel reveal where you can see the balance wheel through the dial. But this is one of the more beautiful bridge designs we have. It's got that beautiful vertical bridge 
or over the balance wheel with the six blued screws. And if we have, we're running out of time here. One quick shot on Margaret, if we could, because ladies do love this timepiece. You know what? Good point. In fact, forget seeing it on my wrist. We'll just go ahead and get this on Margaret's wrist quickly because that Push. is that is one that I agree that the ladies could carry off if they would like. It has a actually. Let me measure one of these very quickly. Your case diameter on this is going to come in at 40. Now, going 12 to 6, including that crown up at 12 o'clock, you're at about 52.8 millimeters long. But it's on a, ru uh, not a rubber, excuse me, a leather strap, so it is very easy to wear that and enjoy that. So, yes, ladies, you could carry that off if you wanted to. $199.95 is your clearance price. First payment, $39.99 fee, $90094 is your item number. So, enjoy that one. You will. Now... This next watch that we're going to show you is the one I was starting to mention earlier. I told you this. it was in this hour. I, 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 just I thought it was because I looked at the cart. I, I could have sworn it was too, but here and it we, is. And we were right. This is huge. It is one of the largest mechanical yeah. automatics I've ever shown you. $148.55 is your surprise price. It is brand new, V91668. Then, later on, we'll get to my host pick at the end of the hour. we got a lot to do here in the final 20 minutes. That is the Eclipse 2 automatic priced at 114.73 yeah. with a very unique 24-hour display Absolutely. over on the left side of your screen. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Now, actually, the next watch is one I'm very surprised that we're just getting to. I would have thought, in fact, maybe even last night that we would have had this because the Madman series has been a very popular series for Sterling Original. This is the skeletonized automatic version of it in either red, green, orange, or blue. Yeah. Now, your price... This is just killer at $158.96. Yeah. Then putting in place two value payments of only $79.48. We'll walk you through the different choices because, again, there's some different variables here depending on the one that you order. And you're ordering based on the dial numeral color. Here you can see the orange numerals. Let me just make sure that's correct. Yes, that's the orange piece. That has on the top plate top part of the dial, kind of a bluish, yeah, bluish purplish mm -hmm, sort of dial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The next one over is green. If you like that yellow top portion, kind of a grayish bottom portion, you're going to order green because of the numerals. Now the next one over is one we're calling red. It has more of a stainless sort of appearance on the top. This will be the first to go. And then on the bottom, a black plate covering mm -hmm. the bottom portion there. So you're gonna be like that when you're ordering red. Your last choice is blue, and the blue has more of a uniform, almost an all black sort of look with the top and the bottom portion of the dial. All of these are running on the same 20 joule automatic movement, however. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is our Mad Man Skelly, not the Mad Men Skelly, but it's the Mad Man Skelly. And um, if you've never owned one of our, our Madman timepieces, uh, take a hard look at this. Uh, we've done three or four now with the Traveler and the Madman Traveler and the original Madman, the Madman Chrono, and the C2. But this is a massive timepiece, Sean. It's 53 millimeters from 12 to 6. It's 63 millimeters from lug to lug. It's got an extreme aggressive curvature <coughs> that just wraps the wrist. The rubber strap is integrated seamlessly into the lugs, and it's got those steel inserts as well. Here's a nice uh, camera view of this, but this is also very exciting. We debuted it at the um, uh, JCK because we're launching a new movement with the Madman Skelly. Take a look at the date wheel. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you saw a skeletonized uh, three-hand movement with a date? You have to actually see how that date uh, wheel actually turns. This would not be for the ladies, by the way, um, as much as we like to say ladies can carry this off and that off. But this is a, again, we have a very technical term. I think I taught it to you by now. A bigot. This is a biggin. Yes. And, and yeah. That, well, here, let me Which show you where the ruler is that helps you out. What did I just drop? There yeah. you can see the size of this, you know, in width, not the widest piece ever, but in length it absolutely is. This is going to extend two and a half plus inches off of uh, the wrist. I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. It's on the extreme of the size of watches that I can comfortably wear. There you can see the side view of that. That is all from one big solid block of stainless steel. So a big piece here. Larry? Yeah, very big. And uh, 
Uh, listen, I've got a couple of different of these uh, madmans. I don't have the skelly just yet, but it's only a matter of time because, again, this movement, we're hoping to be using this again soon. We have some other pieces, I believe, that are in production. But it's a signature look for us now. And if we get a chance here, I just want you to see because, again, you, we do a lot of skeletons out there uh, in, our, in our gallery of timepieces, but you don't see an exposed date wheel as part of a skeleton. And this is a first for Sterling Original. And like I say, uh, I do hope that we will be uh, seeing more of this movement in future timepieces. We come in real tight at about the 3 o'clock position, guys. Okay. And you'll be able to actually see that date wheel as I'm changing the date. Can you see that mm -hmm. over there at the 3 o'clock position? And again, ask yourself, do you typically see that in a skeleton? Sean? I'm just taking that in, actually. That is kind of, I, I'm, I was always one of those kids you who don't would take see my that. toys apart because you I had just, to see how they work. You just don't see that. And there's your back shot. Okay. And you see the aggressive curvature uh, of this case. And you need an aggressive curvature on this because it is so long. So this is not for everybody. If you're below, I would say, uh, below seven and a half, I don't think so. No, I, I would agree completely. I, I, I absolutely, I would agree with that. Here it is on there. an eight, though. On an eight, it's great. Yes, this check that out. Even on a rubber strap, is going to be a heavier piece. This is going to come in at 166 and a half grams. So just be advised, you're going to have some weight here on this watch. 166 grams. May, most of that weight is all in the case right there because the rubber strap is not necessarily that heavy. So there's a lot that's gone into that big block of stainless steel. V91612 in your first payment, $79.48. So a good look and a good way. Actually, we have another big watch to get to in just a second that my host pick still to come. So a number of larger pieces right around the corner. If you like the bigger watches, we definitely are going to make a number of those available for you this morning. Well, we've got Big things and a great show. Shopping continues here on Shop NBC. Coming up in just a few moments' time, we have Kimberly standing by. I know you have Carmela as your guest tonight, right? I, I do. We're going to have the first hours of the day featuring 925 Fusion. Our 925 Fusion jewelry collection is the wonderful opportunity for all of you to have the latest trends and the hottest looks as far as jewelry goes with emerging styles all combined at affordable pricing. So when it comes to great looks and styles, you got to have a little bit of animal print with diamond accents. Our fabulous concave band ring is clearance priced for $36 and change. We'll also have this on two value pays and your choice of the black rhodium or the yellow gold. But with 925 Fusion, you can kind of fill in those little nooks and crannies of your jewelry wardrobe and take advantage of big looks, bold styles, and always oh so affordable shop NBC pricing. Um, Sean, it's kind of like those dangerous curves that Larry was just talking about, those, those massive curves and that Edmund Skelly watch. <laughs> that's an excellent comparison, right? You are. So that's going to be coming up next hour with Kimberly and Carmela. So I hope that you will keep them company. In the meantime, speaking of large watches, here we go with another one. This we just debuted last night. It's the 1889 Automatic. This is for those that have always loved the art of watchmaking, mechanical automatic movements, but you've been wanting a larger piece. And I'll tell you right now, we get your emails, I've heard from you, you vote, and you like larger watches. This could be the single largest automatic movement watch that I've ever presented from any vendor here. Let me throw some numbers at you first of all. Your case diameter is 49. Your crystal on the watch is 30. Eight and a half, so just the open visible area is almost 39 millimeters in diameter. Your case thickness is 14 millimeters thick. In fact, you know what I could probably do? I could actually measure the watch movement. The actual diameter of the movement is going to come in at about 30 millimeters in diameter. That's just the watch movement. Your price is only $148.55 for wow. all of this watch. And then there's five payments of $29.71. I want to start by actually showing you, and how much time do I have here, Al? I know we got to be working against the clock. Only have four minutes. Okay. Very quickly, I'm just going to show you the exhibition case back as well, because there you can really start to see a good amount of that movement. Okay, four minutes, Larry. We gotta go well, you know, this we thing. just showed you our original emperor that came out uh, 
about five years ago, and then last year we came out with our Emperor's Grandeur in this larger case size. This is the exact same case, 49 millimeter, so it went up about 8 millimeters in size. And now here's the brand new, we just launched it yesterday, the Emperor 1889. And this is somewhat of a hybrid because uh, we actually had a model called our Exposition Universal that had this exact same movement in it. It's kind of a museum art for the wrist type of a look here. As we, and this is a nice shot of the Exhibition case back. But as we take a look at the front of the dial here, you're going to see a triple bridge design uh, where this is a landmark design in the watch industry that became famous in 1889 at the Exposition Universal in Paris, France. A very high-end Swiss brand which is still in business today uh, won an award for their triple bridge design which they put on the back of a pocket watch. And now since then, uh, other companies have, you know, taking their turns at, at doing double bridge and triple bridge designs. And here we've put it on the front of not a pocket watch, but a wrist watch that has a pocket watch design to it uh, with the, um, you know, the, cr the bridge, the crown and bridge up at the 12 o'clock position. So a very interesting evolution to this and just a classic, um, uh, very artistic, creative uh, museum style of piece for the wrist. I mean, this is gorgeous. I mean, this is stunning. Uh, this is a dress-up piece, New Year's Eve, once a year, uh, not an everyday timepiece, but just something very, very special for your collection at just a jaw-dropping offer here tonight. I mean, this is Let amazing. Let me point out, going from the very top part of the watch, the top of that little stainless piece above the crown that says sterling, from there to the very bottom of the case, and the piece underneath it, that's 68 millimeters in space. So 69 millimeters from the highest point right here to the lowest point down here. That is absolutely pocket watch territory, pocket watch size. Literally, the original watches, ever, wrist watches ever made, were a pocket watch strapped to the wrist. So this right. is really taking you back in time that way. And you see on the left-hand side, you've got that balance wheel revealed, the open heart beating at 21.6, which is six beats per second, 21,600 vibrations you know, per hour. You see all the blued screws. You've got an animated AM, PM indicator over on the right-hand side of the, of the timepiece. And then you've got this floating movement in the middle because between that carriage that's holding the movement and the case, there's actually space that you can see right through. Mm -hmm. And Sean oh, yeah, is showing definitely. you the 23 karat yellow gold uh, layering uh, on, on the execution that he's showing you. I've got the silver tone and... Matt, we got 30 seconds to go here. So in fact, we'll just show it to you on Margaret's wrist very quickly. Again, I personally wouldn't recommend this for the ladies out there, but I've been outvoted. The crew said we got to see this on Margaret's wrist so you can see it on. I think it's probably a little excessive, but boy, for the guy who is looking Do for a very not large miss watch, that this. is the way to go. V91668 is your item number, so you're welcome to continue to call in on this great opportunity, a new opportunity since that just debuted this particular week. Now, in the final few minutes of this hour here, again, Kim standing by with more shopping for you into some jewelry here. We're going to share the Eclipse 2 automatic. Yes, yet another timepiece on an automatic movement, but I'm here to tell you a very unique feature that even through our whole two hours, in fact, even through this show today and the two hours yesterday, we did not mention this particular watch movement because it has a very interesting way of reading the time in your 24-hour window, which is located over in the 9 o'clock position. Your price here is $114.73, and we have five payments. Let me point out, you're buying based on the case color, and once again, there are little differences depending on the one that you purchase. The rose tone you see right there has a black strap and a black dial. The next one you're going to see is the silver tone, and the silver tone has a dark brown strap and this beautiful brown sort of dial. You can see your hour and minutes display, seconds display underneath that. Your date display located at roughly the 8 o'clock position and then that 24-hour window. The third choice is the gold tone. The gold tone is probably the richest, the more exclusive looking of the bunch. The gold tone has a tremendous white dial here. Very crisp, very clean, very executive looking. 
But the key to this is located way over there. Because here's my time, that's very straightforward. Here's my seconds display, pretty straightforward. And there's my date display. But this one little window over here is what makes it interesting. Right, what you have is a 24-hour indicator that's broken into three eight-hour segments. Typically, a 24-hour indicator is you know, a ring of 24 or two, two uh, segments of 12. But here, as Sean is advancing the, uh, the uh, time, five o'clock, six o'clock, there's a very tiny little hand pointing to one through eight. And as he goes from eight, watch what happens when he goes to nine o'clock. He's at eight o'clock. And when he comes around to nine o'clock, now the second hand comes around that's a little bit longer and it points to the center row. And as he gets up to 12, now it's at 12 and he gets to one at 13, 1400, 1500. And watch what happens when he gets to 1600. He goes to five o'clock to 1700 Ooh. and out pops the longer hand pointing to the third segment of the oh, uh, eight hours. So a 24 hour indicator in a fan, but it's very unique and it's really clever and it's, it's, it's beautiful. However, just take a look at the overall look of this timepiece. It's a 44 millimeter case design and it's like art for the wrist. You've heard me use that expression before, but it looks like a, like a framed piece of art with those yep. horizontal bars, but instead of a square frame, it's like a round frame that like you hang on the wall. Yep. I mean, this is like art for the wrist. It's gorgeous, a real executive timepiece are Eclipse 2. The original Eclipse was a 42. This is a 44 millimeter. And this is the one that we've, I have designated as my host pick for tonight simply because I've been a big fan of this. Now all of the little features that we just talked about are all powered by mechanical automatic movement. And exactly. we can't in two minutes do justice perhaps to that. But realize every time you add in something other than the basic telling of the time from one pin, you're adding in another complication. So I have my time. South of that, I have my seconds display, one complication tossed in. To the west of that, I have my date display. There's another complication. And then above that, that's where I have my 24 hour display. So I have all of those complications added into this particular watch, and all of that is powered by what you're about to see right you here. You see how I cleverly handed that to Sean? I like his assistant You're encroaching over here. in, yes, for the past minute with this, but uh, that is indeed what we want you to see. And, and that's you, decorated too, which is beautiful. Yeah, you see the perlage on the uh, back plates, the Cote de Genève treatment on the pillar plates, and then the, the rotor with the uh, satin finish on the damier, the net pattern. You have a 22 jewel mechanical automatic mm -hmm. movement. There's your rotor. That's what keeps this wound. As you're wearing this, that moves and spins around, and that is what winds the watch for you. You can, of course, do it yourself with a crown mm -hmm. if you would like. This is the rose tone case that see the has satin finish the black on the side. dial. And the, oh yeah, let me just turn that back just so you can see the there's contrast, a subtle difference there. Yeah, the contrast between the satin finish and the high polish, it just makes it pop. So you have a couple different uh, tones there almost because you do get a different uh, different look there, whether it's polished or satin finished. Larger case size on these at 44 millimeter case diameter versus the original, which were 42 millimeters in diameter. Again, it's just, let's call it what it is, a very look rich looking, that looks very on your professional wrist, time piece. And it's absolutely one of those pieces that any guy who wants a very executive look should be picking up. And there, of course, you can also see on the gold tone anyways, you have those blued screws, which are wonderful. Uh, there on the uh, the rings surrounding your actual time and your seconds display v90472 that's one payment of twenty two dollars ninety five cents on your major credit card to be able to pick this one up and get this home so make note of this one and that item number larry you mentioned the time you're back and i've already forgotten what time it was 8 a.m central with katina forte eight o'clock central nine o'clock eastern time and then back again in the afternoon but this is the final day of the sterling visit so the value pays that you're seeing those are in danger of going over way today so do make note of the uh, the various value pay structures always a thank pleasure you, Larry Sean. fabulous job thank you all continue to dial in on your sterling original time <laughs> pieces as we change gears and Kim is standing by with Carmela and some beautiful jewelry for everybody thanks guys we do have a beautiful collection for you in our first hours of the day of 925 fusion 